All right, welcome back, everyone. Last time we were trying to find the last rift around these parts. Uh, it is definitely over in this direction. It's in the water, though. So it's probably going to be kind of tricky to figure out how to get to you. But we'll give it a shot. Hope everyone's having a good day. I had it. They already had a full whole day because it's like 2 a.m. <laughs> I forget. But, uh, yeah. If you're watching on YouTube, um, thank you very much. Much appreci- big appreci. Uh, if you could lo if you could drop a like, uh, it's the best way to support the channel, get the videos shown to more people. Uh, I also have a TikTok and a Discord and a Twitter if you would like to join any of those. Be my guest. Keep up with me off stream. But yeah. I think I'm going to throw on some more tunes here. It's eerily quiet in these uh, grinding locations. Just give me a second here. See how that does. Hopefully it doesn't get too loud. I was also looking, I need uh, some like wisps or some shit. Where is it? Wisp essences to get my specialization. I really want to get that sooner than later. I would like to have, you know, have my new abilities as soon as possible. That'd be much, uh, I don't know, you know, just give me more time to uh, use them and enjoy them. But I wanted to check the map because I it said it's in Fallow Fall, Fall, Fall Mire or something like that. It's like a whole other map, I think. Yeah, I think it's over here. But we haven't gotten that far yet, so maybe I'm just getting ahead of myself a bit. I'm not doing the side quests, so that could be why. Okay, so... Them flying in the air. I thought it was some kind of glitch yesterday. I didn't. I didn't make a TikTok of it because I wasn't sure. But uh, I thought I thought it was a glitch, like people just launching into the air. It's kind of funny. I was watching a uh, World of Warcraft st streamer, uh, Stormy. I think there's more to her name, possibly. That's that's what she calls herself for the most part. You probably find her just from that. It's like Stormy I E instead of a Y. Anyways, uh, <laughs> like I just recently redid my subscription, and I've been messing around with a bunch of different classes. As one does, or just as I do a lot. Oh, this looks weird. Anyways, she uh, reminded me that War Warlock was a class. 
I like to play a lot of PvP. And, uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna make that after stream. Excited. It's so much fun, that class, because you can literally just stand there in PvP. Unlike most uh, ranged classes, it's actually better for you to just stay there and, like, not run away. Because uh, you have... You have an ability called Life Steal, and it literally like auto targets the target, and people can try to run around you as much as they want, but it'll always just like automatically turn you, like you're locked onto them. I mean, they they can interrupt it, but you can just start it back up. It's not that big a deal. It's like super strong, very good ability. How do we get to the water over here? I am very confusion. Okay, here's here's the city. Let's try to go over here. I feel like since so this last rift that we're after, it is in the middle of the water. And you die immediately if you go in the water. I think I'm going back to where... Yeah. Good thing we have a trail behind us. So I'm going back exactly to where I was, which is not ideal. Um. What? That is not where I wanted that marker. Why did it do that? Anyways. Uh, if you go in the water at all, you immediately die because I think that they didn't want to mess with, like, swimming. I don't blame them. I'd rather just walk everywhere. Swimming's kind of obnoxious in games. Um, anyway, so there must be some sort of, like, maybe underground tunnel to get there, some sort of bridge, a boat, maybe. And there's this city that we're heading to right now. Or ruins, more like. More likely to be ruins, I would say. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll look around there. If I can't figure it out, I'll probably just look it up. So all we need is one more power. Try to do some side quests on the way, maybe. It's kind of hard to tell like what you get power from in this game. You, you kind of get it from most things. Even just killing things, I think. But, yeah, maybe we can go up this hill here. Looks quite slick. Oh, yeah. It's like ice. About here. Kind of looks like you can walk up this. Nope. That's alright, we'll figure out the way over here. I'm glad I decided to just keep using my dash. It's very fun and fast. I feel like a Death Eater from Harry Potter. Except good. Like the Frost version. Oop. Oh, we're so close. We are so close. Come on. I believe. I believe. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hey, welcome in to Astrid. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of games, yeah. You gotta try to, like... Well, this one specifically, because the areas are very, like, catered, you know? Like, they definitely only want you in certain places. It's kind of hard to find your way around, so you're almost, like, forced to do that. Is this one of those sudden secrets like proper hygiene? Once we worked from the shadows, monitoring Templars and mages alike. Ah, uh, that clearly worked out well. Your glibness. Yeah, right now I'm trying to get to... There's a... There's a rift. In the middle of the water, like, over here. I had to look it up, because I just need, like, one more power to move on in the story. 
So if you know how to get to that, I would highly appreciate that knowledge. I th I'm thinking it's m maybe through, maybe through the um, this place here. I don't know how you get in here though. Either that or you gotta kill a bunch of dudes. Maybe we'll get a pa like one power while trying to fight them. Yeah, I I was gonna look it up myself if going in here didn't fix my issue. <laughs> but we'll find out though. I kind of want to explore this anyways. Oh, we gotta we gotta attack it. Gotta break it down. You have to drain the lake? What kind of shit? I mean, I figured it would be something with the castle, but I was thinking more of like an underground tunnel or like a boat maybe, <laughs> but draining a lake? Okay. Is there, are you, are you playing with me? Is there like a legit a lever in here somewhere? You can pull the plunger on the lake. Whose idea was this? What I want to know. I'm just doing like one attack every second. What happened to my combo game? There we go. Okay, so there's a bridge somewhere off the castle here. That would make more sense. Reservoir dam situation, okay. Cool, thank you very much. We'll try to find that. But how's your day? How was your day today? If you're not nocturnal like me and just started your day. Oh yeah, fair enough. Whereabouts, uh, I guess, don't want to get too personal, but like, uh, what country are you in the U.S.? I am in the Midwest of the U.S., so it's like 2 a.m. here. <laughs> but uh, I've swapped my schedule to where this is like my midday pretty much. If not like, mm, first third of my day. Germany? Ooh, okay. It's cool. Oh shit, I thought this was a friendly person for some reason. If you just jump, they it, they legally can't hit you, right? Is that that's how it works. But uh you got any plans for Mother's Day? I guess maybe I shouldn't ask that. I realize that maybe some people don't have their mom around anymore. Just hit me. I'm sorry if that's the case. Hey, welcome in, Kronos. How are you? How are you doing today? We're just in this castle trying to find a bridge. To the middle of this lake to close the rift. Move on with the story. <laughs> you 
Yeah, legal, legally, in legal terms, they cannot attack you while jumping. It's just, it's just the law. You know, I don't make the rules. <laughs> mm. But but tried there. It almost almost got it. Not quite. Yeah, how's your how's your day been, Kronos? Or are you just waking up like uh, Astrid? I had a pretty good day, just pretty much set up stream and I was watching one of my favorite streamers play some World of Warcraft. I played a little bit of WoW as well before that, I forgot. Oh shit. How did I die? I'm such I'm so bad at this game. Wait, why are these guys super strong now? Can we all just calm down, please? Shit. Up late like me? Yeah. Freaking night owls unite! They're, so, I'm looking at this from like a developer's point of view. I'm thinking the bridge is probably up there because these guys came running down. And this is like the boss. Oh, fuck. He's got all kinds of health. Let's try to use our special here. Is the music mixing? I, I can turn it off. Oh, what's TTS? It's touch text to speech. So there's a channel point. Um, there's a channel point in my channel points. I don't know what, are, what else I was going to say there. But uh, it's just like one point. So literally, like as long as you're here, <laughs> you should be able to access it. But it just, it, it plays your message out loud. Helps me out. Uh, I think it's cool. I prefer... Like, most streamers, they have it as, like, behind money or behind, like, a lot of channel points, but I actually think it's better. Like, it's a better experience for everyone. Especially, like, if you're watching... Like, I upload my VODs to YouTube, um, and if you're watching that, like, you have more... It's, it's not... Blah, blah. It's a lot less like I'm talking to myself. You know, you can hear people or hear what people are saying. So yeah, I definitely prefer it. Oh yeah, I did find a mini boss, didn't I? See, I miss messages like that. Am I on normal? Yes, yes. Oh, do we find like an epic camp or something? Heck yeah. Nice. Huh. So if you weren't trolling, apparently there's some sort of... Oh, thank you. Yes, this is, uh... I don't know where we could get to a better spot to look at her. But, uh, this is my character, Siri. I was, like, flipping through the hair colors and just immediately thought of Siri from The Witcher 3, so I had to do it. Guess we'll look around this castle and try to find this bridge. Ooh, actually, we don't have to. Heck yeah. Moving on. Thank you for trying to figure that out, though. But I think we can go continue the story now. Yes, we can. Very pog.
But yeah, I like to think that I'm pretty good at making characters in games. It's a lot of fun for me. <laughs> yeah, she kind of looks like she turned out looking more like um, was it Danny from uh, from Game of Thrones? Like kind of a mix of those two. But yeah, I didn't mess with any of those facial structures because I was having uh, issues saving the game, and I just like kind of threw this character together. So all the face options are. Uh, like the actual bones and stuff. The morphing of the face was untouched, but the hair, the scar, the color of the eyes, the makeup, all that. That me. It me. Oh, I should probably turn off music now. So we're out of those grindy zones. I don't know why, but I get really bored. Just playing the game, so I'm sure you guys would be bored <laughs> watching without some background music in those areas. Where are we going now? Oh, I think it's over here. In the other section. Yeah, it's this. Do I have the DLC? I do have the Game of the Year edition. Um, I was going to, my plan is to finish the main game, play something else, and then maybe come back to it, if not come back to it after like a couple other games, just to keep it, you know, fresh. For me, mostly. <laughs> I get really bored with games. So I don't want to get burnt out. Which is also why I'm not doing the side quests in this game. Um, from what I saw online, like I looked up, like are the side quests even worth it? And most of, like overwhelmingly, it said no. Anyways, so there's that too. Visitor, welcome to the Western Approach. We've sighted warden activity to the southwest, but no one's been close enough to figure out what they're doing. Between the sandstorms and the vicious oh, wildlife, oh no! One second. I haven't made it far out here. One of my men got too close to a poison hot spring and gave me a slightly delirious report of a high dragon flying overhead. In short, this might just be the worst place in the entire world. Be careful out there. No, that is that is just a, a welcome message and to prompt me to ask you guys the question of the day, which I can ask if you want. Uh. To use the TTS, you if you're what are you on? Are you are you on PC or are you on mobile? Yeah, I'm not doing that's too it's just too long. It's too long to play in one game, I think. At least a story game. In my opinion. Um You're on PC? Okay. So if you go if you, you're looking at the chat, right? In the bottom left, there should be like a little nugget looking thing. <laughs> or, or like a little green box near the bottom left of the chat window. If you click on that, um, it should be like the first one or one of the first ones. It says like TTS Viz Read Bad. <laughs> if you click that, um, it'll prompt you to uh, send a message. And it says like a bot will read your message, blah, blah, blah. Just please don't, um, I, so I would prefer that you do not send them during. As Tardance says, ah, I see. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Yeah, just please try not to send them during, like, dialogue. Because I have a hard time keeping track of the story myself. <laughs> so I get distracted with chat and stuff and it just kind of, like, ruins the experience, I think. But, um, yeah, any other time's fine. And don't, if you send, if you send some, like, F F F F F F F <laughs> some shit like that. I will ban you from it, so just be warned. I do have that power. Yeah, anyways. Well, it's good to know what I'm in for. Sorry, I don't have more for you. We intercepted a venatory messenger and uh persuaded him to give up the orders he was carrying. 
We have them here. This entire place. It just feels like something's not right. Be careful. Ooh, okay. Hell yeah, where are we at now, by the way? Western approach, okay. We gotta get to like the follow Meyer or some shit to get my, um, so I can start my specialization and get a fucking laser sword. How do we get out of here? Damn, is there a rift already? I don't... Do I need to do that? I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> Can I just run around it? Nah, that's fine. We'll do it. It's fine. Everything's fine. I was only just grinding for like a salad... I don't know, probably four hours of gameplay. <laughs> Fucking rifts. I just want to get back to the story. God damn it. Leave me alone! Where's my tank? Thank you. Fucking scorpion, get over here, that shit. Oh, I'm dumb. I should be closing this shit right now. I was like complaining about the rift and then forgot that it was a rift and that I should be closing that as soon as possible. <laughs> I'm very good at this game, if you can tell. Okay, don't pull it right into me. I guess that was my fault. God damn it. Hello, invisible man. If anything, that just gave us power for the future, so we don't have to grind as much. Although, as far as grinding goes in a game, getting power is not so bad. Especially when you can just hunt down rifts, and it's, um, it's like a story point of the game, like, that's the reason that everything's happening, like, you, you're meant to do that. It feels good. Compared to, like, I'm trying, I'm trying to think, like, what's... I don't know, guys, what's the worst grinding experience you've ever had in, like, a story game? For me, it's probably controversial. I know a lot of people like this game, but, um, like, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, it forced you to do the naval combat, and I avoided it, like, the plague, because I really don't like that stuff. And at one point, you literally couldn't progress in the story unless you had an upgraded ship and I had to like grind the naval combat and I just quit the game <laughs> It was it was bad. It sucked too because like the rest of that game was actually pretty good like, It's one of the better um... As Tardinst says I started out the game doing a lot of side quests But eventually just wanted to find out how the story went on so my first playthrough was about 60 hours <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm that yeah, I'm, that's what I'm trying to avoid. I'd be okay with like I don't know, the way I'm playing it, because I, I also looked up the time. I'm glad you made it, Inquisitor. On like the kind of playthrough I'm doing. It has to be blood magic. I hope we can stop them before more people get hurt. And it said like 20 hours minimum. But like I think maybe 40 max. So it's probably gonna be like a 40 hour play for me. I'm thinking anyway. Uh, 
wait. No. Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong. Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice. So are these all Grey Wardens? They're just going nuts because he's messing with their like senses. That was fucking creepy. He like, I don't know if he was meant to shake like that. Oh no. Inquisitor, what an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Edamond de Virantium, at your service. Well, that's a name. You are no warden. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? Stuck in the hinterlands? Yeah. I was... I caught a, I caught a video on YouTube that suggested that you get the fuck out of there as soon as possible, because that can happen. So, yeah, luckily I wasn't stuck there for too long. I just hunted down the rifts and continued the story. Yeah, five hours faster. Yeah, glowing eyes is definitely a red flag, especially if they're actually red. Gordon's <laughs> he is deceiving you. Yeah. I don't think that's going to help, though. They're kind of under a spell. Maybe it will, though. Maybe they're strong. Warriors, this man is lying to you. He serves an ancient Tevinta Magister who wants to unleash a blight. That's a very serious accusation. Let's see what the wardens think. Wardens, hands up. Yeah, no, they're completely under control. Hands I don't know why I thought differently. Down. Corypheus has taken their minds. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. Even to Vinta. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarell full of sympathy, and together we came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. Oh, you have to be more specific. Yeah, that demon army. Got it. Ah, uh, I was wondering when the demon army would show up. You knew about it, did you? Well then, here you are. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Hades. You're dead. He's not gonna just let him go. We gotta kill him. That's all I needed to know. Oh, please. The Elder One showed me how to deal with you in the event you're foolish enough to interfere again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the faith. I'm so curious, like, what happened before this game? Is it explained in the second- what the fuck happened to my staff there? Is it explained in the second game? Because I haven't played that one. How did we- how did we end up stealing the mark or whatever? Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Owie. Oh, 
Oh no. We lost him. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that hurt really bad. Where the fuck is he at? So I can try to revive. Is him? Oh, it's Hawk. I, okay, I can. I thought it was Varric. I guess they replaced him with Hawk. I thought. I didn't think Hawk was a mage either. That's interesting. I thought he was a warrior or something. They refused to listen to reason. You were correct. Through their ritual, the mages are slaves. To I mean, to be fair, we didn't give him reason. <laughs> Of course. Sacrificed in the ritual. What a waste. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember Hawk from like the cinematics or like the trailers for the second game. I thought he was, I originally thought he was like the main character of the game or supposed to be. And then like you made a character that had like the red mark on his nose, but yeah, he his own person. Oh yeah, yeah. I gotta. So the only one I haven't played, counting this one, <laughs> as well. Uh, obviously, I'm playing it. I don't know why I went on with that, but uh, I didn't play the second one. I started it, um, but I didn't like it for whatever reason. But I had just finished Origin, like I 100%ed Origins, <laughs> so I was pretty burnt out. I think I made that mistake. just killed their fellow wardens. Nothing can justify that. <laughs> I don't care about justification. It's past time to take arms against the wardens and stop this man. So yeah, I... The wardens were wrong, Orc. I do plan on playing the second one at some point. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. I believe I know where the Wardens are, Your Worship. Eriman fled in that direction. There's an abandoned Warden fortress that way. Adamant. What, what would you say is your favorite out of all of the Dragon Age games? Oh, am I like really missing out on two? I want these Wardens. We cannot let Corypheus gain an army of demons. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess that's true. In, uh, in Origins, I don't remember there being like a specified main quest. It's just like, he here's, here's what you need to do figure out how to do it kind of thing but i don't remember it being like it was just so much fun so it didn't really burn me out i had just never played a game like that before all right we level up here Can we finally get our armor Yeah, nice. So I guess if we just stand near any of our spells, <laughs> pretty much, we have armor. That's really good. Let's auto level these dudes. Yeah, I, um, all right, hold on, let me read this.
Ah, uh, okay. So, it seems like two is... So, from what you said, one is the best. Like, all around, if you could get over the dated style, I guess, of the game. Um, and then t two was decent, but seems like they ran out of time. And then um, th this one is really good for the combat. Yeah, I definitely do like the combat. I like the graphics of this game are like actually s really good. Like, silly good, like for a game that's as old as it is. Like, some games don't look this good and run this well. Like I, I was even like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is what I played before this, did not look this good or run this well. So it's very, very well optimized, I got to say. But I mean, it, it's probably also had like eight years of patches to fix if there was anything wrong with it. This is the benefit of playing older games. Miss all the bugs. As Tardinst says, Inquisition is just beautiful. It is really pretty. Can't agree. I'm just seeing if I have any upgrades since we leveled up. I don't think so. I just cleaned out like all the um all my inventory recently. Yeah, everyone's got everything equipped. <laughs> that makes it easy. I don't think there's any accessories now. All right. We go back to the war table. Do we need are we going to need the power? Hmm. Seems like we might, but we can just travel back. It doesn't take that long. Thank you for the follow, Astrid. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure having you here. Oh, thank you very much. Have a great day. Uh, I'll be back. I stream um, Fridays. Okay. I just changed my schedule, so probably just look in my about section to be more accurate. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think Thursdays at 2 a.m. Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, I'm, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's, it's brand new to me, so I could be wrong. Yeah, have a great day. So what does it want me to do here? So usually there's like a green mark. Okay, let's back out and look at our quest, see what the name is. Oh, thank you. No you, no you. Uh, here lies, uh, here lies the abyss is the name. Okay. She could skip this little part. It is neat, I guess. Are you all right, Leliana? <sighs> Are you? I suppose not. Haven was trying.
Hmm. Okay. So yeah, we do. We, we do. We do need the power, and it recommends level twelve. Okay. We did just unlock a new area, so we'll go knock out a bunch of bunch of the rifts. I think I want to go and talk to people, though. It's been a minute. We've been grinding rifts like crazy. Let me just make sure there's no other quests that we could be doing. Winter Palace. Let me just double check. I don't think I remember seeing that one. But we probably don't have the, the power for it. My scouts report no signs of danger in the pass nearby. I will arrange patrols to ensure it stays that way. Is it that one? Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts. Maybe. This one needs 20, that one needs 30 though, so. Alright, we'll go and talk to people, like I said, and then we'll go off and conquer these rifts. Maybe do some side quests. Hopefully just the rifts. To Josephine. Inquisitor, I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we're to receive any visitors of distinction. Eh, I mean, I wouldn't care how it looked, but sure. It Keep it clean. It wouldn't do for the Inquisition to appear overly shabby. We've only just now convinced everyone we are precisely what Deiras requires. The mages are showing great trust in you. They need to feel safe here. After that battle with Corypheus, how could anyone not feel perfectly safe? I can't oh. stop dwelling on the day he attacked our camp. Do you know who first left to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first blast of fire. So many people turned to ash. Damn, people got ashed. That's not good. Mm, yeah. Feeling the really feeling the vengeance. When I face him again. I dearly hope that happens soon. Well, before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lady. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. Yeah, can we romance? Oh, hello. I'm loath to part from such pleasant company. Would you care to walk the castle with me? Oh, well, a tour then? Let me fetch the steward. That isn't precisely what I was <laughs> hoping for. Oh. But do let me know if you change your mind. Now I must find someone to prepare. The oh, she didn't take it. She did not take the bait. Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on your hand magic cast by Corypheus? Corypheus claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not holy magic. The anchor's nothing more special than a misfired spell. At least you had the good fortune to take it from Corypheus. Does it hurt? The anchor, that is. Yeah, it probably feels weird. It's not pain. 
It's more like my nerves go on fire. It sounds most unpleasant. It's pretty cool, though. I mean, greetings. Like a lot of power. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? You may see the Countess Lutetia in the halls. A lovely woman, but her conversation sent towards the unusual. She's the patron of Orlais' greatest naturalists. The Countess's particular passion is collecting butterflies. That doesn't sound unusual. She goes into great detail about preserving them. It seems to involve large amounts of chemicals and pins. <laughs> Ew, she be dissecting what bugs and shit. I think that was it. Let's speak later. Another time. Okay, who else here? Big old group of people out here. I wonder what they're doing, all standing together. Inquisitor. I don't want your side quest, whoever you are. Who's here first? Who's this? Colin? Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Up the black yes, screen. Sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. Oh no. I need an update on the armory as well. Oh no. Now. I, I hope this fixes itself. We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have. Nope. It froze. Lovely. Okay, give me a second here. Get the game back up. Okay, cool. I didn't. At least it recognized the game in OBS. Sometimes it it won't, and there won't be any sound. Let's just all hope and pray that it's saved in a decent spot. Looks like we're loading into Skyhold, so maybe. Oh, awesome. Okay. So maybe it froze because we talked to Cullen. We'll just wait. Maybe try that later. Or maybe just not talk to him. I'm not trying to romance him. Let's be honest here. That's the only reason I'm talking to people. <laughs> if not, just for... A little bit more story, but wait, where was that group of people at? There was like four of them, Dorian and stuff. Showed like a cluster of them somewhere. How do you know they won't attack here? Maybe they're inside, or like, yeah. They hanging out over here. Oh, here's Varric. Need something? Hmm. I think we already asked him a bunch of stuff. Now it's just like explaining more stuff. Don't really care for. We must stop the wardens from 
carrying out this insane plan, Inquisitor. To seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the blight. All right, buddy, calm down. Your head is shining. Grey Wardens have always been dangerous. They care for nothing beyond stopping the dark spawn. Like a fair maiden chasing a butterfly off a cliff. <laughs> Except if you don't stop them, we'll all fall. Those fools and duty. Responsibility you fools. is not expertise. Action is not inherently superior to inaction. Forgive me. The entire idea is unnerving. Right, is it, was that was that it? Greetings. I think so. Yeah. We'll talk later. Goodbye. He's a very troubled man. Seems anyway. Where's everyone else? What is up here? Why can't I climb it? Well, something to read. Is everyone through this way? Where are all the homies at? I see them on the map. Maybe upstairs or something. Sitting at a table, Knights of the Round style. Kind of. Brilliant, isn't it? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. <laughs> what? You thought this would be easy? What? <laughs> no, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Am I speaking too quickly for you? It's kind of a rude thing to ask, but no, he was not. Okay, we don't want to romance him, but yeah, it was nice. You don't need to worry about me. I can keep up. Yes, I noticed that. Did you know? Certainly. If you were a slack-jawed yokel, you'd already be dead. I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a magister. Slack-jawed yes. yokel, that's a new Something one. Something else completely. In Tevinter, they say the Chantry's tales of magisters starting the blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very magisters. A dark spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the Blight? You know how it is. Not us. They say Dark Spawn were always there. Magisters and the Blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No one wants to admit they shit the bed. But if Corypheus is one of the Magisters who entered the Black City and he's Dark Spawn... Did you say shit the bed, by the way? Explanation is, there. is that an old term? I feel like that's kind of new. Hey, Kai, what's up? How are you? How are you? How are you? I am doing great. I've been having so many nice chatters pop in, but like... It's pretty late, so people like come in and they're like, hey, and then talk for like 30 minutes and they're like, all right, I gotta go. <laughs> but it's whatever. It's nice to have people chatting at least. There's many streams, many, many streams that I had where no one talked the entire time. It's rough. But it's fine. I hope you're having a good day or had a good day. You were deceived, deceiver. Clearly the Imperium has no idea. The Imperium is a land of lies built upon secrets, built upon falsehoods. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth, but I assumed there had to be a kernel of it, somewhere. But no, it was us all along. We destroyed the world. I just realized that that maybe sounded bad. Like, I don't mind 
Like, I really appreciate lurkers. But, like, people talking, it makes it so much easier. <laughs> so much easier to just, like, not talk about yourself or talk to yourself, pretty much. It makes the stream go by faster, just all around a better time. <laughs> Show out for the homies. Hey, thank you very much. You're the best. <laughs> Why whine about it? Damn. So you'll just stand here and whine about it then? I know. Maybe I'll personally go south and stop Alexius before his plan succeeds. Yeah. Wait. I already did that. Oh, okay. <laughs> no one will thank me, whatever happens. No one will thank you either. You know that, yes? I don't need their things. I mean, I guess that's actually not a bad way to be. Just do things, not expecting things. It's kind of pompous, but... Ah, I like it. That's not why I'm doing this. I knew there was something clever about you. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like him ruined my homeland. I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Oh, and congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that guy's such a character. Got a lot of spunk, that one. Greetings, Inquisitor. That is your title now, yes? I should thank you. The way things ended in Redcliffe, you could have demanded anything you wished. Yet you chose to make us equal partners. I was not expecting that. I don't know, Kai. This this whole series is very good. I definitely suggest starting at the beginning. You don't have to, but uh, if the graphics of Origins, Dragon Age Origins, doesn't throw you off, it's such a good game. The story is fucking amazing. Probably one of the best stories out there. It's 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 either tied or slightly better than Witcher Three. If you ever played that, that's like one of my favorite games as well. Having you here willingly can only make us stronger. Fair enough. Huh. I've been a Grey Warden, Grand Enchanter, leader of a rebellion, and now I am none of those things. Odd where fate takes you, as you're no doubt well aware. I trust everything is well with the mages. We are mostly relieved. An alliance with the Inquisition offers security, although who knows for how long. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, yeah, I keep getting Harry Potter vibes as well. Maybe it's, maybe it's the new, um... The new gameplay of the new Harry Potter game that's coming out. But yeah, definitely some sort of way Harry Potter-ish. Where is the rest of these people? Did I talk to everyone? Dorian, Salas. Leliana, where are you? My queen. Where is my queen? No. Oh, there's more stairs. Here she is. I'm sorry. So am I. The names of those we lost. You must blame me for this. No, God. It's not your fault, Leliana. Nothing can be your fault. Now that you mention it, <laughs> God damn it, why is that an option? Yeah, I'm pretty excited for the new Harry Potter game too. I hope it's good. The combat looks pretty cool. I like the physics and everything. 
Damn, these two options are rough. <laughs> we all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. Oh yeah, definite. Hogwarts vibes. The windows too. When missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents, and instead we lost Haven. <laughs> I, just, I just read that. I don't know why I like skip over butt bot sometimes, because like it's real hit or miss sometimes. The butt. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Butterary? So. <laughs> That's a good one. Fucking savage butt bot. Learn from this. Nah. You look out for your people. That's a good thing, is it? My people know their duty. They know the risks. Damn, they girl. understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. And yeah, they're not disposable. I don't like that. As a mil former military man, I don't like the sound of that. Our people aren't tools to be used and discarded. Your instincts were right. Their lives matter. Can we afford such sentimentality? What if Corypheus? We are better than Corypheus. Yeah, you need to simmer down there a bit, Miss Lady. Getting, getting a bit crazy. Alright. Well, actually... Is there any other stuff we can talk? Because I'm pretty sure we can romance her. The mages likely earned you enemies. Our agents will monitor the situation. If the most opposed can be identified, we may still turn this to our advantage. Not afraid. People can hate me if they wish. That gets us nowhere. The Inquisition is young. We need to build our support. Regardless, I applaud you for the courage to stand up for the mages. This is special. What's that? What is that emo? <laughs> the eyes? <laughs> it's cute. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. It was very noble. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. I think I already said this, and then... yeah. Okay. I'll leave you to your work. <laughs> Bender gender character is sick. It's actually um. It's actually supposed to be Siri. In a way, so it's not really a gender bend, but it definitely de definitely from The Witcher. Uh, she turned out looking more like a mix between uh, Mother of Dragons, uh, Daenerys from Game of Thrones, and Ciri from The Witcher. But yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's definitely a vibe. Definitely, she's a looker. Uh, was that everyone? I guess there's some people outside, but it's not showing up. She she looks like him. She looks like a okay. Does she look like a man? <laughs> or, or like her his daughter? Am I excited for the new show? I am. I love The Witcher so much. So much. Big, huge fan. Henry Cavill, take me. <laughs> I think that's justified. I don't really like men in that way, but he is quite the man. His daughter, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Henry Cavill is like the king of the nerds as well. It's great. 
gives, I don't know, it like gives me some hope, you know? I will obviously never be as cool or buff as him, but he a cool guy. Where is this person at that I'm supposed to talk to? Oh, is it ah, Cassandra? Yes, you stubborn lady. Jesus Christ. You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. <laughs> you kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Yeah. I'm gonna stay out of this. I wanna see where this goes. <laughs> Cause I'm just fucking crazy. I expected you to tell the truth. I told you what was at stake. So I just hand him over on your say so? It's okay, Hawk. This zealot isn't crazy. I promise. <sighs> Look at her. She's finally lost it. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Should I say it? Yeah. A lot of people don't know. Yeah. I also didn't know that it was a book until... When did I realize that there was a book series? I think around the, <laughs> yeah, I think around the time when, um, like right after I finished or when they announced the show, because I think Henry was saying something about that he read the books as ins inspiration, obviously. And I was like, what? Yeah. Let me, you gotta, gotta let me know. I know the books are kind of different from the games. You gotta let me know if they're good, if I should audiobook that shit because I don't read paper books. <laughs> I can't. I'm terrible at reading. <laughs> this would be funny if it wasn't also kind of sad. We <laughs> needed someone to lead this inquiry. This is a bit sad too. Hawk was our only hope. He was the champion of Kirkwall. The mages respected him. And you kept him from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved most holy Varric, you bastard <laughs> now she's she's kind of out of line we're, we'll, we'll we'll reel it back in here i think yeah i don't think it was Var Varric's fault Varric's not responsible for what happened at the conclave I was protecting my friend. Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept him secret. He's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. Nah, she's... She's losing it. Just the fact that she's mad about him not contacting a friend earlier i guess like what i don't think that's right mm. yeah that's unfair i think i think that's a good option yeah that's unworthy of you that's not what i wanted to say that sounded weird i must not think of what could have been we have so much at stake it worked though Go, i guess Beric. Just go. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, he'd be dead too. You people have done enough to him. Hmm. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swore. It's probably him. right. If I just explained what was at stake. If I just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm no, you're... such a fool. No, stop it, Cassandra. You're just you're just hot headed. Hmm. Yeah, I'll humble myself. I'm definitely a fool. <laughs> Have you looked at our Inquisition, Cassandra? 
We're all fools here. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me feel better? More at home, maybe. <laughs> I want you to know. I think it worked. <laughs> I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. You're not what I pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing. Well, that was incredibly wholesome. Okay. So we can talk to Cassandra. Cullen will break our game. So we'll move on now. I think. I think that was everyone that we could talk to. Anyway. Uh, where were we going, though? I think... Crestwood? Was it? No, it was the western approach. Yeah. What is there, though? Oh, that's the city. That's that city place. I don't think we can do any quests there. We need to grind for power. Oops. I can work my map here. Let's see, yeah, there's one here. <laughs> yeah. So do you like do you do you like Yennefer from the from the games more or from uh the show more? I definitely think the the lady that plays her in the show is more attractive. And I like how they like portrayed her in this in the uh show a bit more than uh in the game. But yeah, she's definitely she she is queen for sure. What am I doing here? I'm like lost in my maps. I'll do this again. I'm trying to travel here. <laughs> I mean, hey. It's a great series all around. So, if you're going to think about anything, think about that. Can't go wrong. I'm going to throw on some some tavern tunes. Let me know if it's too loud. Because this game... Shockingly, the only flaw I've found so far is... Um, in these zones, like when you're grinding a bit. Um, there's no music. Oddly. It's, it's kind of awkward. I'm not sure what that last word means, but it's nice that you can relate. Okay, we gotta wrap it around this thing. Is that what this means? To get here? Probably. But this looks like it's probably gonna be a bit closer, so we'll go to that camp there. This desert zone's pretty pretty neat. Bit of a departure. Actually reminds me of even more of the Witcher, like when they, uh, when Yennefer teleports them to the, to the desert. That was pretty neat. Very visual shot. Very visu visually striking scene. Definitely like that. I don't know though. A lot of people, um, I say that they like the second season more. I kind of like the first season better. How about you? I just feel like there was a lot more... Yeah, just like visual... It was a lot more visually striking season than um, the second season. I, I, liked, I liked getting like the backstory on the characters and stuff. It was, it was pretty good. And then the second season was just like... You know, more more of the good, you know? Like, it, it wasn't bad or anything. 
but it was just kind of, I don't know, lackluster, I guess. Oh, yeah. More, oh, no. No, don't give me, don't give me more tests to try to f figure out my mind. Or, like, what I am. <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't know. Sorry. Probably lucky I didn't spoil anything. There's, I mean... Maybe that speaks to how... I don't know. How meh kind of the second season was compared to the first one. Because there's not really anything to spoil. Like, you kind of already knew what was going to happen going into it. Or maybe that's a spoiler in itself. I'm sorry. I'll stop talking about it. Yeah, like my Illuminati birth chart. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> the fuck any of that meant. <laughs> I honestly don't I don't believe in any of that stuff, really. But maybe that's I don't know. I'm a Virgo, I guess, mainly. What I took from that. And what I read about the Virgo, I mean it yeah. Like I didn't disagree with anything that it said about me, but I don't know. I don't think that that... I think it's kind of mumbo-jumbo, but it is kind of interesting. I just don't like when people, they're like, oh, what? Like, or like, they just straight out come out with it, like, like, oh, what sign are you? Okay, we can never be friends. Like, what? <laughs> okay. They're like, we can never be romantic partners. Like, all right. <laughs> well, I... You clearly aren't the one for me, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> if you're gonna be like that. And, uh... I found it really interesting. I know this is how a lot of people... start to act when they just, like, learn one specific thing from college, but... In my psychology book, it addressed... It addressed astrology directly and said that it is absolute bullshit <laughs> so i found <laughs> i think it actually said that too <laughs> i think it actually used those words which made me laugh like it literally said it's bullshit and it has no grounds in facts or logic <laughs> it's just like holy shit <laughs> all right but i'm sure you could dispute it as well. And I don't look down on any, anyone for um, believing in that. You know, people people need what they need. I'm also not religious, so that probably doesn't help anything. I just, I don't know. But then, I... <laughs> Kind of weird but like just from personal experience i believe in ghosts and have had like ghost sightings and shit like in my actual life but hold on i need to close this shit you gotta you gotta like click on these as soon as you can while well, the fight's getting nasty i forgot let's get distracted Should be the last one. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty open too, but so I'm probably dumb for this. <laughs> but stuff makes so much fucking sense to me. What am I even doing? What would I click? Okay. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube on like super speed, like. I would watch it on two times speed if I could, but I can't understand people sometimes, so I watch on like 1.5. <laughs> Ghost, yep, 100%, yep. <laughs> um, but, and like, there's like a whole echo chamber that can happen with this, but hear me out. 
I am pretty sure we're in a simulation. And so do a lot of like leading um, scientists and big brain people. And I have small brain, but it makes sense to me. It makes the most sense out of anything. But and like some people, they think like, oh, well, that's depressing. But like, it doesn't really change anything. If you think about it. Oh yeah, 100%. Aliens, like, just the, just the statistic, like, statistical chance that they would exist, like, in our entire galaxy, like, yeah, they definitely exist. <laughs> Somewhere, they have to. Like, there's no way that we are the only... The only planet like they've they've found other planets that are in that like gold goldilocks zone between or like set up far enough away from the sun that it's not being burnt to the burnt to a crisp but still far away enough to where you can have water so yeah there there's and what i think could be wrong but i'm pretty sure if there's water at all on a planet that is like there is life on the planet. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's the case. And uh, they they've actually I don't know if it's recent news or if they're just finding more and more of it now. But if you look at Mars, the um, the way that the rocks and stuff have been worn down is. It is, um, what's the word? Congruent? Is that a word? No. It's similar to how rocks on Earth have been worn down. Okay, is that Cassandra? No, that's just some, some random dude. It's similar to how rocks on our planet have been worn down by water as well. So at one time, there it's a high possibility that there was water on Mars. So that's pretty... Crazy. Kind of exciting, honestly. So, I don't know. Maybe there was some civiliza civilization on Mars at some point. <laughs> Hell yeah, I love this stuff. I, like, this this is all the- this is what I was saying, like, echo chamber type shit on YouTube, like... So... I went down a rabbit hole. I don't. Were you there, in Darian's chat, when I was offering Mandela effects? Because there's some weird ones. We can jump into them. I I got some videos I could reference if you would like. <laughs> Questioning our existence on stream. Hell yes. Yeah, like uh, let me think. Probably the one that got me the most was, uh, th there was these, I'm sure you remember, if heavily seen them, there was these, um, Got Milk commercials, where, like, this, a lot of singers would have, like, the milk mustache. Do you remember a, um, one of them with, uh, Avril, Av bleh, Avril Lavigne? Because I vividly remember one of her in, like, a white t-shirt and, like, suspenders with her guitar. Yeah, do you do you remember that? I mean, I, I did just describe it to you, so maybe that's not helpful. But I'm like wandering around. A But like now, maybe. Okay, yeah, maybe that's not the like, best example. Um, did you see? Were you a big fan of like Britney Spears? Did you watch? Wait, did I not get this one? What the fuck? Maybe that's what I was doing. That is what I was doing. But I, how do I get there? I gotta go around this way. Maybe. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, like, are you talking about Avril Lavigne being re replaced at some point? I'm pretty sure, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It would make a lot of sense to me. Although, I guess it could be explained, like, all the differences through just, like, aging and drugs. <laughs> but, maybe. I don't know. You love Britney? Okay. These will be good. These will be good. So there's two about her mu- like, two of her music videos that really got me. Um, one of them, uh, what was it? It's not Hit Me Baby One More Time. No, Oops I Did It Again is the first one. Uh, she was wearing like a, like a red jumpsuit type thing. Do you remember? It's a show about all this on Netflix? Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I'm honestly kind of burnt out on Mandela Effects because I legit, like, wa I watched, like, eight hours of <laughs> that shit on YouTube one day. That's where I'm getting all this from. But yeah, I'll check it out. Thank you. Alright, so yeah, the red jumpsuit, right? Do you remember her having a microphone? Like, an earpiece microphone in that video? What the fuck is that thing? Oh, I did not mean to attack it. But we're fighting now. We're for <laughs> We fighting now, boys. Oh shit, it's got a lot of health, dude. This may have been a mistake. Oh, what the fuck is it doing? I don't like that. What are you? Oh my god. I'm scared. Wait, why does it have two health bars? Kinda shit. It has a whole ass health bar for its ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Interesting. Interesting creature. I'm scared. Oh, just conspiracy theories in general. Is it like ancient aliens though? Does it like go off into a bunch of different directions? I hate that shit. <laughs> that makes me mad. But a Rick and Morty type vibe. Oh, did you say, is your oh yeah about you do remember her having a earpiece mic? in that video. Sorry, I got distracted with that beast. Whatever the fuck that was. Excuse me. Okay. So, the mic, it, it doesn't exist. Let me blow your mind real fast. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna deep dive into the internet here, hold on. Switch my scene. So, that shit does not exist. Uh, <laughs> let me pull it up. We're not gonna, I'm gonna mute it so I don't get copyrighted. Actually, I'm probably going to cut this out. Let me, let me mark it for myself. For YouTube reasons. Fuck off, malware bites. I don't care. Okay, uh, so yeah. So I guess we can. I'm, I'm still going to mute it, I think. Yeah, nowhere in the nowhere in the music video does she have a mic. Like a bunch of times, she kind of looks like she, she's adjusting it, but it's not there. And there's like b behind the scenes as well. 
where she she doesn't have it. Let me see. Let me see if I can find that video. Mm -hmm. GDI. I'm not hip enough to know what that means. <laughs> GDI. But yeah, she. It's it's not it's not in the behind the scenes either. But what's really creepy about this is, so this came out, what, 2013, is that right? When did the first one come out? Three years ago? That's not right. Let me look up the exact date so I get it right. Um, oops. That did. Release date. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I see. 2000. Okay, so 2000. Britney Spears Halloween costumes. Hear me out. Hold on. Britney Spears Halloween costume. Every single one. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Maybe specifically, oops, I did it again. Okay. Just about every single person, so here's one, has the mic, has the mic, has the mic. Like almost all of them have a fucking mic. <laughs> You're listening. You see this shit? So why would everyone have this is another another part of it. The toy. There's a there's a there's a toy of it and it, the toy comes with a mic. It comes with the fucking mic. What happened to the mic? <laughs> Why did they erase the mic? Can someone tell me <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> All right, I have I have one more for you. I have one more for you. Uh it's the um while well, while I'm finding the toy to confirm this. Um, it's the, it's this one. What's what video is this? So, oops, no. Hit me baby, hit me baby one more time. <laughs> the hit me baby one more time video. What, what pattern is, is on her skirt? Do you remember? Oops. TPY. That's not a thing. Hmm. Yep. There it is. There's the fucking mic. Oh, that's much more clear. Yeah. It has a fucking mic. Your sexual awakening. <laughs> Think hard. Think deeply, Kai. This is important. D do you remember? The skirt. Okay. Buckle the fuck up. <laughs> I probably should have left Britney Spears in there. God damn it. Uh, it's fucking black. There's no pattern on any of them. What kind of shit? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? Is definitely <laughs> like I'm not making this shit up. <laughs> like how? How is that a thing? Oh, can we just talk about how fucking pretty she is right here? Oh my god. My little, my little mind was not ready for that. Anyways, um, <laughs> all right, we're waiting, waiting on the black, <laughs> the black skirts. It is, is it's black. It's black. 
Um, uh, oh, while we're while we're reacting to stuff here, another I do have another just popped in my head. Um, ooh, I, well, we already went over this one. I'll, I'll look this up while I'm pr prompting this one. If you're ready for another one, um, I'm sure you've seen you've seen the Jungle Book, right? Um, there's a dance with Baloo, I'm pretty sure. He's like dancing in a grass skirt. If you know what I'm talking about, what else is he wearing? <laughs> what is this emote? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Hopefully good things. Uh, but yeah, what else is he wearing other than that grass skirt? I'm going to look up those Got Milk commercials pictures. And I think I know what happened there. It's at least explainable. I could spell commercial, goddammit. I got commercials. I didn't even put milk in there. Fuck. Fuck. Not commercial posters, I think. Be better. You need more context? Okay. Uh, I don't think that that one's going to work then. Yeah, the Jungle Book, Baloo, the bear dancing in a grass skirt. Anyways, what I think happened with the uh, Avril Lavigne shit is there is a lot of female singers in, oh shit, in white. So maybe, maybe we just like auto completed that shit. Everyone that remembers that. But I don't know. Yeah, I can't think of any other right now that I could like show you. <laughs> but there, there was so many. There were so many. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe to wrap this up, we can watch a video. I'll show you what I was watching. I guess. Uh, uh. I'll try to find the one that has the blue thing in it too. New Mandela effects. It's this guy all time. Which one was it though? I was going to link this to Darian. Actually, I think I did. Showing this is in Darian's. Hold on, the gaming one, gaming buds. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> Hold on, I think I did link one of them to Darian, might have been a while ago. It's like a specific one that has all of these in it that I went over most most of them. I just search for myself. I gotta search Mandela. Yes. And yeah, which one was this? Mm, no, this one's with Ratatouille. It's not the one I wanted. This is specifically Ratatouille because because Darian loves that movie, but she it didn't work on her. That that one didn't didn't get her. Which one was it? Me playlists. Where's this playlist at? There we go. Brand new. Yes. I think it was this one actually with the Halloween shit on it. Sugar Studio Ghibli, Britney Spears. Yeah, the Britney Spears one. I think they were all in the same one. Dazzle ships. No. Fuck.
<laughs> not the skirt. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta find which one has the fucking blue in it. It might be in the thumbnail. The spider one's a funny one. Uh... I thought it was all in this one. Did I skip over it? Hmm. I guess we'll just watch this one, because I'm not going to be able to find it. This is a long shot. I'll try this. Hold on. Um, Jungle Book. Mandela. So this one's actually confirmed. It's confirmed by the author. Shit, you saw it. Don't don't look. Is it this one? It might be this one. Since it came up. Okay, this one has the Avril Lavigne one. Another Britney Spears. That's the skirt one, actually. Okay, yes, yes, yes. This is the one. All right. These memories. Let's check out some brand new Mandela effects. It's been a while. Let's check out some brand new Mandela. All right, hopefully, hopefully you're still here. While, so buckle up. Yes, bu buckle the fuck up. A group of people have a clear collective memory of something that apparently never happened. Many of these people remember the exact same thing with near identical details. However, these memories are now seemingly different from what's in the history books, newspapers, articles, etc. Put simply, the Mandela Effect is a really weird phenomenon and it has confused and puzzled people for years. So today we're going to cover a time Yeah, I watched like eight hours of this, guys. I like watched this whole playlist to candy to <laughs> one day. Disney movie. Stick around to the very end so you don't miss a single detail. Like, subscribe, let's get into it. The Scream. This one kind of got me too. Let's start with a piece of classic art. The Scream is a beautiful composition created by the Norwegian artist Edvard Munch in 1893. Now this piece was brought to my attention by multiple commenters claiming that something had changed about this incredibly iconic work of art. So let's take a look at it. Are there any details here that you don't remember being here? I noticed something right away, and upon doing more research, it turns out that a lot of people online don't remember ever seeing this gold bracelet on the wrist of the screaming figure. What do you think? I was like, what? Well, here's an interesting detail. I definitely don't Edward remember that. Munch created at least five versions of the Scream. The first in 1893, the second in 1895, the third in 1910, which many art historians believe is a replica painting Edward made after selling the original 1893 version. The fourth is a lithograph version, and the fifth version is the most mysterious. Many people believe that it is actually the first version of the Scream, as it's incomplete and lacks a lot of the colors and details of later versions. <laughs> Interestingly enough, the gold bracelet isn't found in all Yeah, I don't know. It's but in the most famous version, the it's fucking there. Version, it's, it's right the fuck colorful, there. And once you notice it, you what can't the fuck? See it. It's such an eye-catching detail, and yet very little, if anything, has been written or discussed about this. You have to remember, these works of art have been discussed for over 100 years. Every color, every detail, every stroke is very true as well. Made, analyzed and discussed. Not only that, these pieces have been recreated for just as long. Yeah, the no fan, really the fan versions don't have it. Even the modern day exacted detail parodies somehow still completely miss this eye catching golden bracelet. Very interesting <laughs> indeed. So what do you think about all this? I don't know. I think it's, I think he said the date, looked, like there was, there's the different versions, but one, one of the versions has the bracelet for whatever reason. Avril Lavigne. Next, let's talk about a much more modern type of art. The milk. The milk mustache. The Got Milk advertising campaign, which ran from 1993 to 2014, was created and used to encourage the consumption of milk in the United States of America. What started as simply an ad in California, later was licensed by milk producers and dairy farmers all across America, all with the express goal of selling more milk. What was really strange about these ads were that they used numerous celebrities, musicians, and athletes to sell milk. And in each of them, they always had a milk mustache. Weird, right? What a strange time in American history. <laughs> Although, as weird as it is in retrospect, this is a bit I was strange. A kid and a teen at the time, so I have I never to really admit, stop to consider how strange any of this was. 
Anyway, let's talk about the Mandela effect. A bunch of is it just now clicking? Musicians at the time did got milk. This might get you, People even though I did completely Carson describe it. Cyrus. But the weirdest one <clears throat> is the one that apparently no one can find today, and that is the Got Milk ad with Avril Lavigne. The pop punk singer and songwriter that tons of people remember, myself included, but apparently has never existed. The limited details that people have recalled is that she had a white cotton tank top on, apparently suspenders, and that her guitar was in the photo. I guess he that describes it too. Go ask but after the fact, he like gives it a pause for you to be like, huh, do I remember that? And more than likely, they will say they remember it. But as far as we can tell, it doesn't exist and apparently never did. Nope. Here's the crazy thing. The Got Milk ads had reached a 90% awareness in America, which is phenomenally successful, meaning 9 out of 10 people had heard of or at least seen one of these Got Milk ads. So the chance of someone seeing one of these ads over the 20 plus years they were made oh, so is extremely high. You do, you are recalling the specific Mandela effect so interesting. The Avril Lavigne. The list of everyone that did one of these ads, and Avril Lavigne isn't one of them. So why do so many of us remember her in one of these ads? People have gone through the backlogs of these Got Milk ads, and there's no oh, gotcha. similar <clears throat> to what we're describing. I wish I had the answer. I might have left out the Got Milk part. Either it exists, or maybe you missed somehow it. Somehow, all evidence of it has been deleted. Yeah, it's. Lost. I, don't know. I definitely do remember that. Milk ad. Like I have a vivid of image of the, misremembering the exact same thing of her so <laughs> with a milk mustache. Let me hear it in the comments below. The Rock. This one's weird. This one got me too. Let's talk about Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock, the former wrestler and now actor that is somehow cast in. Because I really liked everything from the Fast and Furious. I really liked wrestling when I was a little kid. To the latest I would say this catchphrase Joker all the time. Course. The reason I bring him up is because of his famous wrestling quote from back in the day: "Can you smell what The Rock is cooking?" I never watched wrestling growing up, but even I had heard of this quote. So come to find out, that isn't actually what he says. In fact, he never said, can you smell what the rock is cooking? Bullshit. His quote is actually, if you smell what the rock is cooking. No. If, not can. This might seem like a small grammatical difference, but it fundamentally changes the meaning of the quote. It is so different. Not only are there multiple threads. That doesn't make any sense. And all the change, merch says, like, can you smell what the rock is cooking? Why would that? Remembering this quote being can, not I... if. This misspoken and misquoted line isn't just limited to audio and video clips. It's quoted on t-shirts, media pieces about The Rock, and dozens and dozens of articles. Is it possible that everyone is wrong and this is just a mistake that keeps I don't think so. Or is this another example of the Mandela Effect? In my research for this, I found videos saying can in the title, but when you watch it, he says if. That's fucking weird. I even looked up his wrestling theme song to see what it says, and it says, if you smell what The Rock is cooking. That's the weirdest so shit. Why would the title of the, why would the, title of the, the video be can, but he says if? I'm curious to hear which one you remember. What the fuck? M&M's. This one's not that great. Next it's up, quick, we're though. talking about those tiny milk chocolate bites trapped inside of a candy shell. Or it's not. Most everyone has heard of them. Yeah. M&M's. Specifically, though, their slogan, melts in your mouth, I think not in your hand. Now, this, this one's like a slight wording. That didn't get me. Before, and has been used ever since. So if you've been alive long enough, you've you did the Britney Spears one used before. You know, now that I think about it, candy companies are notoriously good at slogans. This is bonus Try one. To tell me what candy corresponds. Oh, I think this is a line from Star Wars. I, I don't know how big of a Star Wars fan you are. It didn't get me though. One. Think of these as quick little bonus effects. First up is how the Great Pyramids now have eight sides instead of four. This shit's weird. That one's pretty Although strong. I have, Even it's very slight. The eight-sided pyramids, like. You could only tell if you really, really looked. This makes sense to me. Why it would be that way, I don't know. Like, the pyramids are mysterious anyway. So maybe there's some reason for it. Yeah. Right? Like, what the fuck's happening? Why Why are they changing our Next childhood is memories? Is not only missing this shit's weird. This, this got me. Richard Simmons, 100%. 100% had wristbands and a headband. You can't tell me that he didn't. You cannot tell me that he didn't. And there's no fucking evidence of it anywhere. What the fuck? <laughs> but now his wristbands, they're just gone. What happened to them? It looks weird. Last but not least is a quote It looks weird Wars without him. Episode 3, where tons of people online remember Padme saying, this is how democracy dies, with thunderous applause. But apparently she never said democracy. She said... Liberty. 
Like, so now this got me fired up. Like, this is how Liberty dies. you can't take away my man's lost. wristbands. <laughs> so it's like his iconic answers. shit. But ultimately, even though all three of those are pretty fun, I decided to go with the most fun one. It's a mind-blowing update to a classic Mandela effect. The jump this, book. This shit, this shit got me. Because it, he confirms the fuck out of it. All the way back in the video brand new Mandela Effect 7, I talked about The Jungle Book. Let's check out a quick clip from that video to refresh your mind. There is a scene in the 1967 animated classic The Jungle Book where the young human Mowgli is being talked into giving King Louie fire. During this song and dance, the bear Baloo joins in wearing an interesting outfit. What outfit is the bear Baloo wearing during the scene? Visualize it right now in your head before I give you some options to choose from. What do you see? Was it a coconut beak and a yellow grass skirt? Or was it a coconut bra and a green grass skirt? As it is now, it's a coconut beak and a yellow grass skirt. This is certainly not what I remember from the Jungle Book, but hey, that's just my opinion. This is just wrong. The coconut on Baloo's face just looks so off to me. Yeah. To this day, that's still a pretty big Mandela effect. But now we have definitive proof that Baloo did indeed have a coconut bra. Yes. Something happened at some point. Preach, good that. sir. Floyd Norman is an 86-year-old American animator, writer, and comic book artist. He's worked for companies <laughs> yes. such as Walt Disney Animation Studios. And yes, Kai, and yes. Pixar. This extremely talented man did it all, working on everything from Sleeping Beauty and the Sword in the Stone to Robin Hood, the Smurfs, Mulan, and even Courage the Cowardly Dog. He even worked on computer-generated movies like Toy Story 2 and Monsters, Inc. All this to say, of course he worked on the 1967 movie, The Jungle Book. I bring up Floyd Norman because years ago he ran a Squarespace website that you can still look up and read to this day thanks to the Internet Wayback Machine, where he talks about his thoughts and feelings on animation, the industry, his dreams, his goals, and lots of insider stories that you'll never hear anywhere else. In a post he wrote called Things You Don't Know About the Jungle Book, Floyd delves into all kinds of fun details that most people have never heard of. For example, originally the Jungle Book story was, quote, dark, dreary, and full of mystery. So after Walt Disney himself viewed the storyboards, Walt yelled out, This reminds me of Batman! Apparently this was a shock to the team of artists because none of them ever expected a DC reference from Walt Disney. They even used to gossip back then that maybe Walt Disney was a secret DC Comics fan. Floyd's website has a ton of great details like that, but the one that really caught my attention was regarding Baloo and his now missing coconut bra. Here is his entire quote. Veteran writer Larry Clemens thought having animated characters in drag was a surefire gag. Every time the story team would come up with a wacky idea, Larry would always chime in and say, what if we put him in drag? That would be hilarious. Eventually, Larry managed to get his way. When Baloo the bear has his wacky I want to be like you duet with King Louis the orangutan, we put Baloo in a coconut bra and grass skirt. I think we there finally it is. managed to please Larry. And Fucking de right definitive proof that he had a bra. Prima and Phil Harris was a he drew the bra. This man drew that bra. Have it, an artist that literally worked on the but book. it's not on... Drawing that it's like removed from VHS tapes. Has confirmed that Baloo the Bear was indeed it's removed from fucking VHS tapes. So like kids, remember. childhood from the tapes. You don't get what the fuck is that? Than a first -hand account. The fuck is that? What? Why the FBI coming in my house? This leaves all of us with a couple Taking away my goddamn. Where's the coconut? Bra? This is a Dis this is a fucking like Disney or some shit and they have the bra on. Watch that movie remember. What the fuck? And one of the artists that worked on it remembers it. Why they coming in my house? Where did it go? Erasing my VHS tapes. <laughs> Flip stable. The fuck is this shit? At least one would survive if I'm sweating. The case, <laughs> a clip of it. This kind of gag at the time wasn't controversial. And if yeah. you scrub from existence at some point after, you'd assume that someone out there would have knowledge of that right? Not to mention Disney as a company has never admitted to changing anything regarding this movie and it's still viewable on even... I'm scared. All All right. I think right that that's like enough. That's enough of that though. Thank you for riding this roller coaster ride <laughs> of emotions with me. <laughs> I'm going to use the bathroom, but we'll get back to the game in a second here. I'll be right back.
I'm glad glad you enjoyed that. I don't know, like that just really freaks me out. Oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why would they take my man's brawl away and erase my VHS <laughs> my VHS tape? Like it's that. I don't get it. I'm probably gonna upload that as a reaction. Hopefully, people will like that. Let me get resituated here. Hold on, I think I was playing some tunes too, wasn't I? I think I closed that shit, damn it. Nice, there's one ready to go. Is it too loud? Probably. An <laughs> existential discussion. I love it. I honestly love it. Oh my god. Okay, I feel like... I don't know. I don't feel like reacting to another video, but if you've never seen this shit, um, look up... I probably have to send you the link. I don't know. Yeah, let me just send you the link. Hold on. Anyone else? Are you Are you in my Discord, by the way? Let me shoot you the link if you if you're not. Nice. Okay, let me find the link and I'll show you. I'll send you the video. You can watch later. This shit's crazy. Uh, Basilisk. Yes. I fucked up a teacher with this one. <laughs> like, they started talking about harmful information. And I, I can't do it justice, so I, I have to link you this. So I tried my best, and then I, had, I ended up having to link it to this teacher as well. Let me just grab it here. I'm gonna put it in the just chatting. Let me know if you can't click on it. My Discord's kind of weird for whatever reason. Um, people can't talk immediately. I have to like approve them or something, but let me know. Yeah, pretty much the premise is like there's there's some information in the world that. Um, can be harmful to you by just knowing it. It's kind of a weird concept, but it makes it's pretty simple. But the example this guy gives is so good and creepy. Fuck you up. Honestly, I don't mind if you watch it right now. It's not rude. I don't. I don't care. I just. I think I wanted. I want to get back to the game. But you can go ahead and watch it, and then give me your thoughts <laughs> in a little bit. I don't think it's that long of a video. I didn't look at the time. Maybe like ten minutes, something like that. I'm just grinding in the game anyways. Not gonna be missing all that much. Why am I homie sitting down?
Oh, did you miss what I said? Okay. Enjoy. An existential crisis. Right, so need ten, well, technically, what, nine more? How air? Head to this. Yeah, yeah, we'll just walk. I was going to fast travel here, but it's not that far, I don't think. Wait, if we even can, we might be getting blocked by the terrain. Ooh, hanging something big. Oh, what the fuck? Why is there just like piles of bodies? That's creepy. What is here? Oh, it's it's up it's up on top of that, I see. But yeah, I think we are getting blocked. I'm gonna make sure. Just kind of want to explore this a bit. Hmm, it looks like there's more up here too. We're definitely blocked, I think. So we'll head back this way. Yeah, no, it should be. I'm pretty sure it, it's on PlayStation. If not, like, a, I think you can play, yeah, on all the PlayStations, you can play backwards compatible stuff. I think this came out on, mm, maybe PS3. Yeah, I, do, I highly recommend it. Very good. Just, uh, I mean, it's up to you, obviously. Play how you want. But the side quests are not that great, apparently, so I'm skipping them. It's supposed to be a waste of time. That's what most people said about it online. For eight bucks, sold. <laughs> that's, that's a a heck of a deal. Ooh. Travel I see you. you reach the peak Gr and then the grift? I almost said grift. Rift. I see you. I will close you. You will be mine. I will get my power. Demons. Fuck, he's pissed. He lit me on fire. I'm on fucking fire. Damn it. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Jesus Christ. Why am I looting? 
I'm the worst party member. I always be doing that. Mindlessly looting in the middle of the fight. God damn it. Leave me alone! I'm trying to think what I said. He lit me on fire, maybe? Okay. <laughs> you had me like sweat and I was like, what did I say? That's funny. I'm glad you enjoy the the sounds. I need to get blurp. I will be getting blurp um very soon. Probably in between in between like on my off days this week. So, be, be ready. Be, be ready to send me all the farts and all the ooh woo kitty cat bullshit that you want. It might cost money though. Cannot confirm. Or deny. It'll be like a dollar or something, you know? I don't want to break people's bank or anything. But I mean, if you're going to send me a fart, I think you I think you should pay for it. Is that is that wrong? <laughs> like if you if you're forcing me to listen to a fart sound, I think maybe you, maybe I should get a dollar. Yeah, sounds are sound for streams is so hard. So hard. Very confusing. Not intuitive at all. Like all the, the, these different like channels and plugins you have to have, it's a lot. My best advice is just YouTube to your best ability. <laughs> I know your specific situation is even more confusing because it's very like specific. And hey, I don't think a lot of people are watching right now, but let me let me shout you out. Let me. Hook the homie up. Hold on. Can I not? What is happening? Why can't I? There we go. I'm trying to highlight your name. It wasn't working. Mm -mm -mm. Now I can't get out of your name. No, I don't want to open your... There we go. Anyways, guys, go give, go give Kai a follow. They just started streaming. Sure, they will appreciate that. Working towards affiliate. Yeah. Definitely not the only one trying to figure out streaming audio. I swear, like, a lot of the people I've met through Twitch, just like talking to people or, or whatnot, um, just about every single person has had some struggle with audio at some point. And like, it's weird, like, yeah, no problem. And when it, um, when it does work, all of a sudden it just won't. I forget what happened to me. It was like not too long ago. Something weird. Something weird with my audio. Messed up. I think, like... I was playing music, like copyrighted music, when I was playing Hearthstone. That's what I started streaming. Um, and then all of a sudden, it just it flagged it on my VODs. And I was like, what? No, it shouldn't be playing on my VODs. Like, I didn't change any settings at all. And it just started saving to my VODs. And I was like, what the hell is going on? So... Yeah, that'll happen to you also. Like once you once you get it set up, like something will just some update or some weirdness will happen and you just won't have audio. Surprise. 
Yes, small streamer. Small streamers gotta stick together. Okay, I almost fell in that tar pit. That looks not fun. Oh shit, is it actually hurting us? The fuck? Okay, maybe, maybe we should get out of here. Am I dying? I'm dying. Are we actually taking damage though? I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely. And then <laughs> this happens to Darian all the time, but like her stream labs will just be slow for some reason. Like she'll get a raid. And, like, the sound alert won't go off. And she's like, alright, come on. Come on, wind it up. <laughs> like, let's go. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Why'd you leave the ketchup on the table? We'll Try to get over to this. Actually, I think it's probably more this way, huh? Well, this place is so confusing. Hmm. Maybe we hook around this way. Yeah, so the way I have my sound set up also was a mistake or like it wasn't on purpose that I realized I could even do this. But if you notice, like I'm not wearing I'm not wearing any headphones right now. Um, I just have my mic set up to where it it's sensitive enough to where it doesn't pick up my de my like desktop audio. Like it doesn't pick up my I'm playing on a TV and it it doesn't hear the TV. That is so scary. So I have a, I have a fix for this. It's, it's helped me. It's helped me out. I still am a little paranoid about it. But uh, I use an app. It's called um, Touch Portal. And that's how I like change my... That's how I'm changing my um, my views or whatever to like my desktop view or the game view. Uh, it's like a stream deck, but you only have like eight, eight buttons, eight virtual buttons on the app. Um... Anyways, I have one set up to go live, so if as long in my mind, <laughs> and I don't have it keybound anywhere else, I made sure to get rid of the keybind in OBS so that I can never accidentally go live unless I have that app open on my phone. I'm pretty sure it is the only way that I could do that on accident. Maybe I have seen like Mizkif, I'm not sure if you know who that is. He's one of the bigger streamers. He has accidentally gone live from his phone before. Like, I think you can start a live stream through the Twitch app. Somehow. But he, he like, got woke up in the middle of the night. And he was just live, and he's like, how even the fuck? But. So there's always the chance... And like every once in a while, I'll just like pull up my dashboard. Like, am I live right now? <laughs> Especially if I'm like doing some sus shit, <laughs> or like I'm like at my computer in my underwear or something, and I forget about like, oh, I'm a live streamer. I probably shouldn't do that, <laughs> just in case. But yeah, it is a worry. But I was talking about audio. Oh god, hold on. Um, does it just sleeping stream on accident? <laughs> yeah, guys, it was, a, it was a surprise stream, you know. I really wanted to shock you guys, so it's actually a publicity stunt. <laughs> Not at all. Um, but about my audio, so yeah, I don't, so basically... I just, I'm, I'm able to play 
my game as I would off stream with no headphones because I hate headphones. They're like uncomfortable. Um, I think sometimes it kind of echoes, but it only seems to be on the voices, which it only just makes it easier to hear the voices. And it's like very slight. It's not like off sync or anything, so it's not that big a deal. These supplies were intended for someone out in distance. Um, Stolen, perhaps. I can't, I don't know how I have it set up to be honest. I was like messing with my sound one day. I don't remember what I was trying to do, but I just realized that it was like picking up the audio, or like I could I could hear I could. So I think before I couldn't hear the audio unless I had my headphones in. But I could hear it, and it was like, on the levels, on OBS, it was like picking up the audio, and I was like, what the fuck? I was like, wait, I don't have to wear headphones. Hell yeah. And I think from watching some, some other streamers, they do that as well. And it's, it's definitely better if you don't have a lower tier microphone. Like, this mic is pretty good. Um, good starter mic. But the like SM7Bs, they're much better at not picking up your your TV's sound. Because you have to be like, those mics, you have to be like, it, they need to be inside your mouth. <laughs> Almost. At all times. So. Yeah, they're not going to pick up anything else. Actually, we have unorthodox setups. I don't know that it's so unorthodox. I just don't think it's like widespread knowledge that you can do that. Because a lot of a lot of streamers, they have headphones in, and I think people just assume that that's the way you have to do it. But and again, like I can't tell you how I have it set up because I don't even know. <laughs> so, but one. One of the biggest streamers, um, Ludwig, his setup, I'm pretty sure he like never has headphones in. At least none of the videos I've seen, because I've never, I don't like, I don't really watch big streamers that much, I just like watch their, their highlights, for the most part. Yeah, the Yeti mic. Yeti's pretty good, as well. I actually, it was blowing my mind because I was watching a streamer who had the Yeti, I think it was like the black one, um, and I didn't see the mic anywhere, anywhere like in her picture at all, um, and she had a head, she had a headset on but with the mic flipped up so I assumed the mic was muted or just wasn't being, being used. And I was like, what mic are you using? Because it sounded really, really good. Like, that mic sounded great. But it, she said, it's like, it's like, oh, it's like on the table across from me. And I'm like, what? That's pretty cool. So you're telling me I didn't have to spend maybe like $200 on this mic. It is neat, though, because it like changes colors. But and it's kind of like an all-in-one thing. Like, it came with the... The, um the shock absorber shit. I don't know why you would need that. I guess moving it around. And it it's inside of it, it has a pop filter. I'm not sure how good it works because I don't know. I, I had my now I, I lowered the volume, like the gain a bit, and I haven't noticed it yet. Let me know if you hear like popping, you know what I mean? Not that. That was that was a landmine, <laughs> I think. Yeah. I guess maybe... Maybe I can... Describe. Let me see. In my OBS right now. I know it's in like the settings. I saw it before. Settings. Audio.
Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I'm looking at it and it doesn't make any sense, so I can't help. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I thought I could help. Yeah, this is this is the HyperX. There's a link. There's a link um, in my about section to all my peripherals, all my gaming gear. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really like freeing. Like you know, don't have anything on my head or in my ears. Aside from my beanie, of course, but that's the beanie's for safety. If you're ever curious, it's just it feels nice. I feel like I'm hiding from the world a bit. Energize. What the fuck is this? Okay. What the fuck? I'm hitting buttons. I shouldn't. Okay. Uh, can we move? I'm paused. All right, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't used to wear I didn't used to wear my beanie, but I think it's just a part of me now. I like how it looks. Um. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll with that for the rest of time, as long as I can. I know in some situations you can't wear a beanie, but it is what it is. Oh shit! I'll just have my like shitty comb to the side undercut matted beanie look if someone it's like you can't wear that <laughs> it's like well you have to look at this so who is really winning here oh fuck oh we gotta energize more what am i the fucking energizer bunny I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Scott Pilgrim vibes. Hell yeah. I dig that. You know, yeah, I maybe not Scott Pilgrim came to mind, but something like just I don't know, like pop punk, some kind of pop punk band member or something. That's that, that's that's what I saw in myself, and I'm like, yes, <laughs> that needs to happen. This is me now. I love it. You know, you you recognize weird shit when you like watch yourself on on video <laughs> that you never would have realized before. Fuck. Get up here, bitch. Damn it. I really want to get up here. I don't think there's anything up here, but I want up there. Hey, fuck. All right, we're not doing it. It's not happening. Well, we gotta head this way, probably. Go here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I have the ads. Well, I guess. Hell yep, but. Oh, but. <laughs> Ad came up. Okay, but spot. I think you're drunk. I think you're drunk. Maybe you should take a break. Get some water. What was I saying that you possibly missed? Yeah, I don't know.
Oh, I was gonna I was just gonna say I do have have my ads set to the lowest density. I was running them every hour, like manually doing one every hour. But it seemed to just annoy people. So I I don't think I'm ever gonna do that ever again. No good. We'll have to find another way. Plus you don't make any money off of it anyway. <laughs> I'm in my pop punk era. I, I think that's I think it's forever. It's not a phase mom. Alright. This is my life. And I'm gonna fucking live it. And if no one like if anyone has an issue with that, that's fine. I don't have to hang out with them. <laughs> we don't have to be friends. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I can show you. I can show you. I can prove it. I'm gonna prove it, guys. I will show you. Watch, it's like not actually set how I think it is, and I'm gonna expose myself. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Let me pause this so I don't get killed by a boar or some shit. Display. <laughs> Love that for you. <laughs> what a... Was it my rant about people not be having to be my friend? Okay, so you go on Twitch. Uh, you need to get this up over here. Need to make sure I don't dox myself somehow. Okay, so settings and then stream maybe? But no, I think it's affiliate because you have to be an affiliate first. So maybe that's why. Yeah, so once you're affiliate, you have your ad section here. Um, and there's some settings somewhere. Mm, is it this? Revenue for share? No. What the fuck is it? I've trained leaderboards. God, Twitch is so confusing. I know that there's some setting page where you set the, like how often it goes. Oh, okay, you just click on that bar, very unintuitive. Uh, but yeah, so you you can choose, you can choose how far you want to space out, and mine is spaced out the max. Sorry about you guys, but you, I mean, if you, <laughs> if you, uh, if you don't want to see ads, there is a way to fix that. Not saying that you have to spend your money. No, Twitch Prime is free, but uh, start and delay. Was this? This is how ad manager will. So yeah, this this even waits. So this is its max maximum wait time before it starts running ads as well. So yeah, I'm maxed out, guys. I can't help. I can't help you. And it's like the lowest length too. So I mean, hey, I tried. All right. I tried. <laughs> okay, uh, go back to game. All right, we still have sound. Yeah, some little pro tips for you there. And to diss the haters if someone's watching it's like oh my god the the ads there's so many ads like i can't i can't do anything about it i can't you can't there's no option to just turn it off and you know why that is because twitch needs to make money you can't really blame them for that but you can blame them for not having a as good of an ad situation as like YouTube does. And if you're like, what do you mean? Well, just think about it. You can't skip around to streams like you can skip around uh, YouTube videos. And all of all of Twitch's ads are unskippable as well. So yeah. 
They definitely need to work on that, I think. Except for rude people. <laughs> That's fair. You know what's interesting as well? Kai. So since you're a streamer, it's different. So like, we're more lenient to ads because we're like, hey, I mean, it's just a thing that happens. We have to do it. We have to deal with it. So we are more likely to sit through an ad to watch someone. However, there's some crazy statistic. I think it's like 30% of people or more will just leave a stream. They will straight up just leave if there's an ad <laughs> at all. So that's why I was, before I was running an ad once per hour, it's a tactic to try to turn off uh, ads for people first joining the stream. Like, you, you know how most of the time, you'll, you'll get blah blah, just like, words. <laughs> most of the time, when you join a stream, you'll have like a 30 second ad. Well, if you run an ad every hour yourself, which it's, it's, it's a, it's a lose, lo or I don't know. I don't know what's better, so I'm just not gonna do. I'm not gonna do it. But if you run an ad every hour, it'll turn off that initial ad for people coming in, so they're more likely to stay. However, it's more ads for people that are already in the channel. So I don't know. I feel like if I don't run an ad, it's not my fault. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. So I think I'll take the hit of people leaving just because there's an ad. Yeah. Plus it's less work for me. Like, I thought it would be good, like every hour, okay, I'll get up, like stretch my legs and like use the bathroom, but like, I don't find myself having to do that. Like wanting to do that, you know? Did I not discover this shit? What the fuck? I guess we'll fast travel back over here. I'm getting so lost over here. I, I don't think that's the way to get there. I can't travel. Why? Okay, because you want to fight me. That's one thing. I, have you... Did you watch any of those stream scheme uh, videos? Because that guy, he's he's really knowledgeable, but I don't think that a lot of, not a lot of his stuff, but like, there's just some things that I don't think he's quite right on. Not that I know more. I mean, I'm not the guy who has like 100 viewers on average, like he does. But he's also not like one of the top streamers either. So there's a lot of good information there, but... Take it as you will. You don't mean to distract me with what? I don't know if you noticed, but that's that's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm just kind of playing a game. I'm here to talk to people. That's what I love about Twitch. So you're not distracting me at all. You are the content, Kai. Surprise. Like I'm not, okay, maybe that sounded bad. I don't know, I'm like so concerned about <laughs> sounding bad. In my head, that went to like, oh, I'm making content out of my viewers. No, 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 that's not, that's not what I want you to think. We're just here hanging out. That's what we're doing. That sounded bad even then. I don't know. Please believe me. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of like a better way to say it, but there's nothing to say. 
I don't know. Just playing games, talking to people. People need people to talk to. That's that's a good way. That's what I'm here for. I, I just want people to have somewhere and come hang out. Not be judged. Just have a good time, you know? Not everyone in their life has someone that they can talk to you like that. And I think that's important. <laughs> Who? Me? <laughs> You're talking to me? Yeah, you. And anyone else listening. We, we out here, right? Life's hard. Especially nowadays. We gotta, we gotta stick together. <laughs> Always second guessing what you say on stream. Yeah, but that's that's gotta be rough. I don't think I have like clinical anxiety, but I definitely, I don't know. I do get anxious, but I think everyone on some level has anxiety. But it's. You know, it's, it's like if you if it's like an actual problem that like interferes with your life or if it's just like normal, you know. Tea. What are you saying? <laughs> Does tea help? Oh, oh god. Why did I just get locked? Like I couldn't even move at all. I hate how these take so long to recharge. I wish it would just pop up. Oh yeah, I wanted to change something. Oh, Kai, if you're still here, after this fight, you gotta see this because this is very important to your enjoyment of these games. Because your followers, they won't do shit. <laughs> your party members, like the AI will not do shit unless you tell them to. But you can set up auto, automatic uh, commands. I'll show you in a second. So I wanted to up one of mine because my dudes keep dying even though it's set to like heal themselves at 50% but shit be like one-shotting you so maybe we bump it up one more one more tick say it in in this game you got a char character record behaviors then you can you can set um how much like if they save mana which I don't think that there's any reason to do that then like who they target you want it depending I think you should have them target who you're fighting and then this will stop them from using all of your health potions i don't think there's any reason to do that because if you die the health potions come back anyway but uh then here is where yeah they'll use health the health potion at this percentage so i'm gonna go to 80 i guess i don't know that, that kind of seems high i was hoping it would go to like 60. i think you can buy health potions though We'll roll with it for a little bit, and if I run out of health potions, then I, that's on me, I guess. But my people keep dying when I have health potions. Get with the program, guys. Alright.
Um, yeah, that's that's an interesting, it's an interesting uh, feeling there. I've noticed. I don't know what this means. I think it's just easier, because I would definitely be nervous, right? If I was streaming to, or if I was like speaking to a group of three people, like that's what I'm seeing that's watching me right, right now. Like if I was doing this and like people, three people were like in the room, <laughs> I would definitely be nervous. But for whatever reason, it being online it doesn't bother me. Like I'm not that nervous. Like I don't even really think about it unless I'm talking about it right now. Now I'm getting nervous. <laughs> But I noticed just from a handful of streamers I've watched, it seems to always come up like, yeah, like they're actually an introvert. And for whatever reason, streaming is a good way to break out of that for a little bit. And I definitely used to be introverted, but being in the military really broke that. So I don't, yeah, in general, I'll just talk to anyone just like I'm talking right now. Like I'm just me. If you don't, if you don't like it, that's fine. Again, we don't have to hang out, <laughs> but yeah, like I worked, I worked in an office with officers, like higher up people like that you probably should be scared of and probably shouldn't really just like talk to. Like I would, <laughs> but they loved it and we got along pretty well. Yeah, everyone's a person, you know, we're all just people just trying to find our way in life. So just talk to people like they're people. Another, another good <laughs> while, while my characters are dying here. I think it's fine to go through here. We just have to walk though. Yeah, I can't I can't um This can't be the right way. Oh, okay. It's telling me to turn back. How am I supposed to get here? Game? Is there a word for both intro and extroverted? Like you're both? <laughs> Is it like switch? Like, <laughs> like dummy mommy stuff? Like sometimes you want to, you want to be dominated, but sometimes you like, wait. You never yeah, sometimes you want to dominate, but like, sometimes you want to be a sub, so you're a switch. <laughs> no, that's probably not what it is, but um. What was I saying? I don't remember. <laughs> oh my god. I know. I'm I'm wildin' right now. Freaking on one. We have to go through here, but I don't know how. Do we just do we do we jump over it? Do we yeeteth ourselves? Cross. That's not gonna happen. Okay. Nope. How about now? Uh... <laughs> Sometimes you gotta like sneak up on things, you know. Like su surprise, bitch. <laughs> also a switch, but I, I, dig I digress. <laughs> That's funny. I was saying something about people just being people. I know, it was something along those lines, but not directly related. Oh, oh. So, in my experience, when I was younger, I thought, like, at some point, I would just, it would just click and, like, I'd be an adult. That's not the case. And come to find out, that's not the case for a lot of people. I don't think this is the right way. Oh, just shut the fuck up. We're gonna make it through, okay? This is the only way we can go, I think. Okay, we can't- we uh, physically can't go that way.
Ambivert. Okay. I mean, I guess sometimes... Sometimes I want to be left alone, I guess? Well, the majority of the time I prefer to be by myself. I don't think that's introverted, though. I don't think so. I think that's just like... An, I'm an isolationist, I guess. Anyways, back to what I was saying about becoming becoming an adult. Um, you think like, oh, at some point, I'm just gonna like, you know, it's just gonna click. I'm gonna know what's going on. I'm gonna like be confident in my job or like about some subject or something. I don't know. But that doesn't happen, in my experience, anyway. And what is actually going on is. Almost everyone, at on some level, okay. I think we have to walk over this. Everyone on some level is fi is like faking it. <laughs> Zelda music? I don't know. Probably Zelda esque. It should be, if it is Zelda, and copyright. It is Celtic medieval tavern music, non copyright, volume three. So, yeah. But yeah, I, I, everyone on some level is faking it. And as long as you're confident enough in what you're saying, people will believe you. <laughs> Which is kind of an issue. <laughs> yes, welcome in Kronos, if I didn't say that, sorry. I was like in the middle of explaining something. We've been having a lovely existential crisis life talk tonight. I'm, I'm digging it. This is what I live for, guys. All the while, I'm slowly kind of trying to find my way around this zone. And get to probably yeah i think i just need one more rift and then we can move on in the story just having a blast though all around <laughs> i am kind of preaching yeah but hey you know one of the i i've i've been studying i've been studying streamers and trying to like really figure out what like what makes people want to watch them. Not that I'm doing this on purpose. Like this is what this is actually what I like to talk about. This is very natural for me. Um, and one of the biggest streamers who I kind of would like to be similar to is um. Is Asmongold. He's kind of controversial. He's kind of gross. <laughs> but he has a lot of life advice. And if you listen to the dude, like, oh my god. Like, he has some really good information and viewpoints on things. I'm not nearly that smart. <laughs> so take what I say as, as a grain of salt. But, uh, yeah. I want to have, like, a similar vibe. To him minus minus the complete degeneracy that is his like hygiene and stuff though <laughs> you do want to be like amaranth no no chronos don't don't sell your body i mean hey get your bag but don't sell <laughs> don't sell your body it is a it is a viable option not gonna lie It's, it, wait, so my preachiness is because of my sign? Is that... Is that why? Are you psychoanalyzing me? Yeah, no, exactly. And that, 
That's funny. That's funny. Funny you say that. I was about to say that. But yeah, that's who I watch, or who I put on when I'm like going to sleep. I'll put I'll put on um, put on Asmund Gold, and I'll drift off to sleep, listening to his wise and crazy words. <laughs> Oh, we are sister signs. Aim high, kids. Yes. Yeah, I, I... Guys, it is five in the fucking morning. If you're asleep, great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here. I do not care if you fall asleep. Get your sleep. If I can lull you to sleep somehow... That's even better. That's a big compliment to me. I've been told I have a relaxing voice as well, which probably helps. Helps my case at already being, uh, I don't know, having a prerequisite to being a sleep streamer. <laughs> been thinking about doing ASMR? I mean, hey. Yeah, that's like su super popular. If that's what you would enjoy doing. I don't see why not. Noise. Well, we've been looking for shards the whole time, so I'm not sure if you're talking about you were playing the game or just earlier in the playthrough. You fell asleep. But hey, yeah, no, welcome, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I have no idea how to get over here. Just gonna throw that out there for you guys. <laughs> In your own game, okay. Yeah, it is kind of... It's like right on the edge, like hunting down these shards is like right on the edge of shards is that the right term rifts hunting down the rifts is right on the edge of being like kind of annoying grindy but you also get to explore the world wait did i try to open this before That sounds cute as shit. <laughs> Should I start singing lullabies to you guys? Never ask me to do that. That was a joke. I will not do that. I can sing, but you guys... No. I won't. I can't. That I am too, I am too nervous to do. Outside of the shower. <laughs> In the car. Wait. Opened by some kind of mechanism. The other one said it just blo it was just blocked. I will not. <laughs> I will not do that. I know it doesn't it won't sound bad, but nope. <laughs> I am so lost right now. How the fuck am I supposed to get over here? Wait, okay, so there's other stuff over here. So maybe we head this way? No idea. Should 
to realize I haven't been scanning for anything for a while as well. <laughs> Probably missed some stuff. But the only thing I really need isn't available in this zone, from what I can tell. Okay. Yeah, that's a whole ass thing there. That looks ominous as fuck. I'm thinking there's something there. <laughs> Could be wrong. The requisitions lady? What do you mean? I hear reconstruction is progressing well in Kirkwall. I know things are bad there. I wasn't trying to. Oh shit. You weren't trying to remind me how bad it is in Kirkwall, so you decided to talk about it. About its recovery. What you're talking about are the buildings, and even that will take you. Are you talking about the the lady that um? There's usually like a scout at the camps. Is that what you're saying? Talk talk to that person. Yeah, it, I guess if you could just explain where this woman is, <laughs> it's gonna give me the power. So I just need two damn power. I do wanna, I kinda wanna take this on now, just out of curiosity. Yeah, because I, I don't even know what you mean by requisitions. Like, I've heard that word before. I don't know if it was in this game or not. I feel like it wasn't. Hey, but we got up to level 10. Nice. Why am I looting? God damn it. Still fighting happening. <laughs> All right. Died. Blah. Day uh, joke time, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Okay, that sounded bad again. Not I guess, like, oh, I guess I have to do dad joke, but because I, I messed up saying it for whatever reason. <laughs> I'm upset at myself, not you. Okay. Why do seagulls fly by the sea? I thought. Th for whatever reason, I thought there was more to that. But yeah, why do why do seagulls fly by the sea? So what's this about dad joke then? So dad joke time. I just keep telling dad jokes either until someone tells me to stop, or I run out of them. <laughs> but you have to play along. You have to guess why do seagulls fly by the sea. This isn't too long. Oh shit, he just break that whole... Broke that whole fucking thing. To seal the deal? Kronos, I gotta be honest, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it out there. <laughs> Explain! <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Requisition lady, give me the power. This isn't too long. I don't know what. I don't know what that means. In sealing the deal, no deal was struck, good sir or madam. We serve in life and in you got nothing, brain fart. Okay. 
So seagulls fly by the sea, because if they flew by the bay, they would be bagels. Simple. Simple logic and science. We just can't have bagels flying, bagels flying around, you know? Or like, lake gulls? That just doesn't sound right. Okay, okay, so it, it is it is the officer that's at camps. Got it, thank you. Locked into my brain. We will... We will not fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, can I not climb this? What is happening? Oh, one person at a time. Okay. For safety. Always be safe. What is happening to my character? I can't control them. Okay. <laughs> Don't clip that. <laughs> we, we, we will not be fucking... <laughs> it will not happen. At any point. Uh... Oh shit, okay. That's convenient. Deceptively quick to conquer. I would say if this is the end here. It's attic or it's like expected I this is is it the that 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 this is as long as I expected it to take, so I'm not really sure. Maybe even longer. Cause these homies up here. Trying to kill me. Sorry, Kai. Okay. Next dad joke. What do you call a deer with no eyes? And anyone else who wants to join him. Shoot your shot. What do you call a deer with no eyeballs? I'm probably saying your name wrong. It's like Kronos. Is it Kronos? 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 Feels weird in my mouth. Now that's a, that's what she said. Feels weird in my mouth. We should bring in our forces to occupy the castle. A Krona. Ooh, I think I have heard of that before. What distinguishes a cronut from a... a donut? Are we over the dad jokes? Can I stop? No one responded, and I kind of feel Inquisitor, left out. We've barely been set up a week. I have a patrol out at the moment. Some of the men sighted darkspawn in the area. <laughs> Yo, hell yeah. Hell yes. Oh, hi, Captain. I'm not going to talk to you because we're going to leave. We're going to go back and do some shit. Finally. Here lies the abyss. Okay, gotta rem remember, here lies the abyss, guys. It's the quest we gotta do.
Did I miss it? I probably missed it. Oh, if he works for Santa unemployed. I thought that that was a reference to Coronas's name. No, but that is a good one. <laughs> the punchline is no idea. <laughs> because because the no eyes in idea. Dear, I dear. I'm so funny. I didn't make any of these up, by the way. Don't judge me. Can we judge someone right now? On the seat of... Is this swords in the back? Or is this spiky? Oh, okay. It is actual swords. Nice. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to stop. I will stop. I have more. Iron Throne who, exactly? Iron Throne, eat your heart out. However, this was far before... If anything, Game of Thrones copied this. Maybe not, though. Because the Game of Thrones books, right? I don't know. I, I've never read them. Excuse me. The power! Yeah, we, I think we're gonna gonna go for the XP because we're kind of under leveled because we're cheesing the game a bit, just doing the main story stuff. Yeah, the way they d they depicted the throne in the in the movie is definitely a bit more metal because it's literally all metal. <laughs> I didn't didn't line that up on purpose. That's funny. Adam and Fortress has stood against the Darkspawn since the time of the Second Blight. Fortunately for us, that means it was built before the age of modern siege equipment. A good trebuchet will do major damage to those ancient walls. Thanks to our Lady Ambassador. Lady Cyril of Jader was pleased to lend the Inquisition her saddles. They've already delivered the trebuchets. That is the good news. Continue. And the bad news? Eremond called the ritual at the Western Approach a test. He may already be raising his army of demons in the fortress. The Inquisition forces can breach the gate, but if the Wardens already have their demons... I found records of Adamant's construction. There are choke points we can use to limit the field of battle. That's good. We may not be able to defeat them outright. But, if we cut off reinforcements, we can carve you a path to Warden Commander Clarell. Oh no. I had a dad joke ready, but I can't remember what it is now. Fuck. It's eluding me. Damn it. I'm out. They have left my brain. I will continue to try to think of them, but I lost it. Did I choose mages or templars? I chose the mages because the templar leader is actually Hitler. <laughs> so I don't know if it's because I am a mage. Like my character is a mage, but he's literally Hitler-esque. So, not a cool guy. So yeah, we went mages. Let's do this. It sounds like our best option. It'll be hard fought, no way around it. But we'll get that gate open. 
It's also possible that some wardens may be sympathetic to our cause. The warriors may be willing to listen to reason, though I doubt they will turn against Chlorel directly. The mages, however, are slaves to Corypheus. They will fight to the death. We've built the siege engines and readied our forces. I got a dad joke ready. Give the word, and we march on adamant. What? Or no, sorry. Where can a waitress work with one leg? Bet you weren't ready for that one. Where? I appreciate it, Kai. Where... <laughs> but where is this one-legged waitress going to possibly find a job? We need, you know, she has kids, guys. This is important. You know, when you say Jesus, I get concerned. <laughs> like, what have I done? I now get it how Lazi feels. Like when people just put LOL, like, oh god, what did I do? This is epic as fuck. Hell yes. Yo, Lord of the Rings shit right now. Is Helm's Deep? Hello? Oh shit, throwing rocks at him. Oof. Guess boulders is more <laughs> more accurate. We have arrived. Look at us. She gonna work at IHOP. There it is. International House of Pancakes, guys. It's the only establishment that she's allowed to work at because she hopping. Because, <laughs> yep, she gotta hop around. You love the chaos. I'm glad that I have chaos happening. What is that toxic? <laughs> International House of Peglicks. Even better. Pull back. They're through. I love it. You have your way in. Let's make use of it. We'll keep the main host of demons occupied for as long as we can. As long as you can, is that all you can do? What a bitch. Get it done. Now you should probably, you know, be careful. Maybe. <laughs> Call it she hop. <laughs> I'll be fine. Just keep the men safe. From a marketing do perspective, I don't think that that's the best idea. But it's a it's a, it's a it's a decision. That's for sure. There's too much resistance on the walls. Our men on the ladders can't get a foothold. If you can clear out the enemies on the battlements, we'll cover your advance. Gosha. I'm on it. Where do I go? <laughs> mm, you you have me facing a wall. Is there a ladder? I'm scared. Oh. Is it this? Nope. Oh shit. Oh, is there a pathway? To IHOB. I do vaguely remember that. What the fuck was that about? Yeah. 
the Danny vibes. We love it. Was that a, was the IHOB, is like inter International House of Burgers they were trying to do, like what? Like they were trying to make a shift to burgers. Was that a April Fool's thing or is probably like a clever marketing decision to get people riled up and then, but the whole time is just to get you to realize that they have burgers. It's not, it's not a bad move. Gotta respect that. Yeah, we have burgers! Controversy is a great way to advertise. If you weren't aware. Don't look at chat and game, guys. It's dangerous. Oh, by the way. Guys, if you didn't realize, I have an infinite, infinite text-to-speech for you guys. Spam, please. I'm just kidding. Don't spam me with, like, z z z z z z z z z or any shit like that. I will, I will ban you. I will ban you. From the TTS set, that is. I can specifically just ban you from that. But, it is there. It is very helpful so that I don't die in combat. And I can still interact with you guys. I'm also just bad at reading, so there's that. But yeah, it's in the channel points. It's in the channel points. Yes, it is it is definitely definitely a clever move. Definitely not most people would not think that. You love how you got egg. Danny said mage rights. <laughs> Surrender. What? We are not enemies. Why should I trust you, Stroud? You're a traitor to the wardens. Clarell called for your death. Clarell has lost her way. You expect me to turn on my fellow wardens like you did? Surrender. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Never. Wardens, attack! Ah. You bastards. That is true. Daenerys, breaker of chains. My mages will not be oppressed. You bastards. Yeah, that's a big theme of this game there, Kai. That is kind of unexpected. They're like... If, mage, is, if mages were a race, they were very, very racist. They fucking hate mages for whatever reason. <laughs> and, uh, after like almost 100%ing the first game, this was years ago, and then like playing this now, I have no idea. I don't know why they don't like Wait. mages, but they just don't. They will kill them. You are egg. Guys, so I identify as an egg. This is my life. Um, don't scramble me, please. Salas does look like an egg. His egg is his, his egg. <laughs> his head is suspiciously egg shaped. That is true. But yeah, mage is my go to class as well. Oh, shit. Especially if the. Alright. 
That was probably not the best move to dash to the back of him, but I felt cornered. Yeah, mage is fun, especially if the... Oh fuck, I died. I was not expecting that. Um, especially if the spells look cool, like they do in this game. Damn, I guess we almost died a lot, because health potions is all almost gone. <sighs> Shit. The Stormcloaks were racist. Let it be known, the internet and the void, the storm cloaks were wrong. I honestly don't, I, I did not follow any of the story in, uh, in Skyrim. It doesn't ring a bell. Yeah. Just in general, like all lives matter. I know that's a controversial movement that's I don't support the movement that is, pr like, um, trying to disguise themselves or whatever, like, but like they're actually a white power movement. Not, that's not what I mean. I just mean literally, like, all lives matter. That's, that's, that's how, how I feel. I know I've been called out on that before. Like, you can't say that. It's like, well, that's how I feel, so... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You couldn't get into Skyrim. Now that's something I've never heard before. Yeah, I've never heard that before there. Cronut. Kronokai Cristo. What's that from? That's a, that's from something. I probably just swore. I'm like Elvish or some shit. No, that's 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 from World of Warcraft. It's from the Draenei. Draenei? Draenei? Yeah, how could you not not that this makes you any less of a person, but how could <laughs> How could you not get into Skyrim? What's that about? I need more backstory. Why did I not go this way before? Yeah, I, I like both of those games. Um, I guess it's a little judgy. I mean, I do like Fallout as well. I just have to be in like the right mood to play it. Just, I am such a big fan of fantasy games that like the post-apocalyptic grunginess just the style of it i don't prefer but it is just more um skyrim type stuff happening so that's that's that part's fun yeah i gotta say never heard anyone not into skyrim that's fine just curious. Yeah, Bethesda and Bioware are probably my favorite game developers. Bioware makes these games uh, and Mass Effect, also a great game series. And the old Star Wars games, which I want to play really badly after this, I think. I want to play the second Knights of the Old Republic. Old Re Excuse me. The second Knights of the Old Republic. Because I never finished it. Shit. I don't even know how far I got into it. Probably not that far. I don't remember any anything about it. 
any part of the story. I just remember the huge twist at the end <laughs> of the first game fucking rocked my world. Yes, yes, they are remaking them, and I'm very excited. I don't know if they're remaking all of them, or just the first one. I'll take anything, honestly. The first game was amazing. They honestly kind of held up to... ...ish. Like, if you look at the game in like a stylized, from like a stylized point of view, the graphics aren't terrible. Oh, shit, he laughing at me? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. You spoiled yourself playing Inquisition first? think so? I don't know. Maybe as far as the combat, yeah. It would be hard to go back to the other games. I could see that. I don't, I don't know about the story though. Like it's not bad. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> but the story was such a big part of the first game and that's why I liked it a lot. Protect the troops. Stay with my forces and see that they survive this. I'll keep the demons off them as best I can. <laughs> yes, yeah, Skyrim's dragons are freaking chumps. Not gonna lie. The dragons in this game are crazy. They look awesome. I saw one and almost shit myself <laughs> earlier in the playthrough. I just saw it. And it was a skull, and I was like, that's a whole lot of nope, we're not going to do that today. <laughs> but it looked really cool. Excited to get to fight one at some point. And also scared. This is probably going to fuck my life up. What is this? What is this hallway all about? Supposed to save this person? Probably should. You have the power to save lives. Great power comes great responsibility, right? Uh, uh, I was very close to just walking by them. That was a weird decision to make me like go through all those doors. Warden, we are betrayed by the very world we have sworn to protect. The Inquisition is inside, Clarel. We have no time to stand on ceremony. These men and women are giving their lives, Magister. That might mean little in Tavinta, but for the Wardens, it is a sacred duty. It has been many long years, my friend. Too many, Clarel. If my sword arm can no longer serve the wardens, then my blood will have to do. It will. Oh shit. It's like, why did his blood fly out of him like that? But I think it was for a ritual. Stop them! We must complete the ritual! Yeah. I'm not sure what you mean, you're meaning by a loading room. Oh, the, the, the doorways? Yeah, I could see that, I guess. That's, that's clever. It's almost even more clever than, like, the lore, the, the, the Tomb Raider, like, squeezing through the, the crack thing that a lot of games do since that game. 
Like while you're going through the crack, it's loading the rest of the map. Good eye, good eye. I like how you think. Uh, don't do this. This ends now. It's done, Clarell. There will be no ritual and no demon army. Then the blight rises with no wardens left to stop it, and the whole oh, world sorry. dies. Is that what you want? My headphone yes, died. Requires blood sacrifice. Hate me for that if you must, but do not hate the wardens for doing their duty. We make the sacrifices no one else will. Our warriors die proudly for a world that will never thank them. And then your Tevinter ally binds the mages to Corypheus. Corypheus? But he's dead. These people will say anything to shake your confidence, Clarell. Yeah, sorry, you might have got some echoes there. My headphone died. I started playing out of my phone. Okay, I don't like the sound of that. I don't want to see what it is. Please, I have seen more than my share of blood magic. It is never worth the cost. I trained half of you myself. Do not make me kill you to stop this madness. Be ready with the ritual, Clarell. This demon is truly worthy of your strength. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I think my tavern music has been playing this whole time. I just now noticed. Because it was off. I'm like, why is it... Why does the music sound so cheery or like calm <laughs> who the fuck chancy <laughs> i don't want to meet chancy just gonna throw that out there attack them yeah fuck it it's too late you leave me no choice you leave me no attack! choice i've heard that before my master thought you might come here inquisitor he sent me this to welcome you! It's a dragon. Fuck yeah. That's so cool. A Pokemon? <laughs> That'd be funny. Yo, you look so cool. Can we not fight? Can we not fight? <laughs> the way he fell over. He's like, ah. I'm confused, didn't he call the dragon man? So the dragon's just attacking everyone now? Kill them all. Okay. That was that was a little confusing. But cool. Very cool. Let's focus up here because I feel like we're Probably gonna die. Hey, we got six health potions. That's nice. Fuck. Why is why is homie coming right for me? I don't want to use my void power here. So I feel like. Oh, is there a rift I need to close here? So I feel like we're gonna have to fight the fucking dragon. I don't want.
Don't want to waste it here. This guy has a lot of armor. <laughs> That's for sure. Why am I running? Stop it. He's line sighting me like a boss. Hey, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you, Cronus. Very appreciated. You are a joy to have here. Fuck. That really hurt. What the hell just happened? He just got all of his armor back. Okay. Now I'm thinking he's the he's the main boss, and now I'm gonna use this for sure, because we're gonna die. We gonna die. Alright, that did a whole lot of nothing. Hey, no you, Kai. No you. Thank you guys for being around. Probably the best stream I've ever had. That's I don't I don't say that every time. I promise. I have said it before, but this tops that. So there's that. <coughs> yep. Have have a great night, Kai. See you later. Fuck. Yeah. Just like just like the meme. We gonna die. I don't know the reference. I do know the I'm in danger. <laughs> that's accurate. That's that's how I feel. I feel like I don't have nearly enough DPS for this right now. Fuck. Can we please attack the fucking thing? Damn it! And you can't dodge that shit, whatever's happening with that. Not that I can tell. Pride of Demon Monk. Is that accurate? Are we acknowledging demons now? I mean, that's fine, I just wasn't aware. Shit. Yeah, there- Can we confirm there's no dodge in this game? Cause it, it would be very helpful. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Stop it! Stop! Where are you going, character? Can you just attack, please? You'll be at your highest power. <laughs> Alright, have a great night. Wait, fuck, we're, it's not over. It's not over! Where's my corpse? Give me back. And then... Ooh, okay, we come back at half health, so maybe we can extend this. This is the strat. I believe. Alright, where's this other homie that died? Fuck. Fuck. 
fuck. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I can't get up there and fucking revive them. Astrid, hey, thank you. Hello. Sorry, I'm very focused right now. I promise. We'll read in a second. Oh my god, I'm so close to dying. Stop it, stop it, stop! Why are you staring at me, sir? Let me help. Oh my god. Damn it. <sighs> okay, let me catch up here. What happened? Only some classes and builds get a dodge. Okay. You are correct. I keep forgetting about my, about my mage, my mage fade step. I need to use that. Here for your coffee break. Hell yeah. He wants to. <laughs> he wants me to acknowledge the stash. Got it. Okay. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Ah. I just don't think... I need to look out for how the fuck... How the fuck his, um... Yeah, how to tell when those things are going to knock my ass around. You can't. You just can't. That's, that's the trick. They just come out of nowhere. There's no indication to dodge it. Unless... I guess I could just watch the fucking dragon. Where's he at? Aha! So maybe... Maybe... I just look for Sir Dragon. You try to keep an eye on both of them. Because even a tactical view, you can't see him. Fucking bastard. There he is. Wrong button. Okay, so he just does an ability that gives him armor. Got it. Dragon! Fuck you! This is very annoying to have to do. I guess you can kind of see the dragons. You can see his shadow sometimes. If you're like in a shadowless spot. Fuck. That one just straight up came out of nowhere. I did not see him at all. I feel like I'm fighting a fucking Dark Souls boss or something. Am 
my sixth sense kicked in there. I guess they kind of come out um, in uh, some sort of rhythm. I see it coming. I saw that one. Fuck you, dragon. Fuck you. Okay, wrong button. What am I doing? Oh. I hit the right button, but it paused that time. Ooh. Lucky that didn't hit me. Dragon missed. Okay, well, we tanked the shit out of that attack from the boss. This is so annoying. Why game hard? Why game have challenge? I just want to pew pew things. Okay, my dodge didn't work at all. Not concerned at all. And we're so close. Can I revive some of these people? Fuck. Where are they though? Where are they? Okay, Cassandra got back up. Nice. Come on. Where the fuck is the other people though? They're like underneath him, aren't they? I don't think it's going to work. I don't think I can revive them. Can you guys please fight him? I guess they're running away. From his big attack. He's not dumb. Yeah, we're pretty close. Um, I think... The next time I try this, I'm gonna lower the health potion shit down to 50 like it was before. I think we're wasting health potions at this point. I think that's what's happening. Could be. I'm probably also really underleveled for this. <laughs> So we might just, it might just have to, um, oh shit, he coming for me. The boy cometh. He cometh. I scared. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Can I revive one of you guys? Is that gonna, is that gonna happen? Oh my god. Alright, if I get this, this is gonna be epic. Oh, fuck you with your armor. I think I can kite him. I think I got this. If I just keep circling around doing this. Until he gets to me and then fade away. Just gotta do that fade away strat. I think I got him. Shit. Shit. Whoa! Throwing lightning balls at me now. What kiting is from WoW, yes. <laughs> yes, tis what, tis what I am doing. At the moment. Great minds think alike. Renos. Hopefully he doesn't get... more fucking... 
goddamn shit armor. I also need to like LOS like line of sight him because he's fucking yeeting goddamn balls of lightning at me as well. He's probably gonna one shot me. Oh fuck you, dragon. So close. Yeah. Yes. God, that felt. Oh my god. I felt like beating a fucking Dark Souls boss. That's the closest I'll ever get, because I will never play those games. Yeah! <laughs> fucking did it. Hell yes. Fuck you, dragon. Still trying to attack us. Pursue Carol. Where did they go? I don't even remember now. Thank you, guys. That was rough. Where am I supposed to go? Can I save now? Please. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Fuck. No, oh, there's an indicator. I'm stupid. What? Ellie's voice actress. What? <laughs> 4K? Oh shit. So is this- is this not over? Is that what's happening? Shit! Why are we going like slow mo? That was very cool. Oh, critical ro roll emotes. Gotcha. Sorry, I'm. I thought it was over, and I was gonna catch up and kept up. Bleh. Catch up on chat, but I'm very scared. I'm scared that I'm gonna fail this. Oh, fuck off with your bullshit. Dragon, oh my god! What are you doing? What the fuck? That guy just turned into a demon. It ain't over till- that is true. So yeah. I for forgive me I'm missing chats. We gotta get her done. We gotta get it done. Oh my god. This game went from zero to a hundred real quick. Okay. You you've destroyed the Grey Wardens. Ooh. <laughs> you did that to yourself, you stupid bitch. Hey, you don't call her that. You don't, you don't say that. Jada Smith, oh god. You leave my wife's mouth- <laughs> My wife's name out your mouth. Oh fuck. <laughs> god damn. 
Oh, she's still alive. What? Oh, that was a big mistake, Dragon. He should have killed her. She said, you can't kill me, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> oh shit. So we're dead. We died. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> that was something. Jesus Christ. Guys, that was that was that was an experience. Need to mark that. What? Are we in the upside down? I was gonna say boop. <laughs> The game is we just starting, is that what you're saying? Open another rift we fell through. I believe we're in the fade. The fade. Yo, that looks cool as shit. The fade looked much different the last time I was here. The first time I entered the fade, it looked like a lovely castle filled with gold and silks. I met a marvelous desire demon, as I recall. We chatted and ate grapes before he attempted to possess me. Perhaps the difference is that we are here physically. This is no one's dream. The stories say you walked out of the Fade at Haven. Was it like this? Okay, let me, let me, let me read all the chats. Make sure I didn't miss anything. <sighs> Might be underleveled, yeah. Yeah, I'm focusing on just the main quest. That makes sense. Oh lord, he coming. <laughs> he was coming. That was scary. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I just want the story, really. I don't want the challenge. Is that wrong? <laughs> that was too stressful for me. Uh, okay. I don't know. I still can't remember what happened the last time I did this. Well, whatever happened at Haven, we can't assume we're safe now. That huge demon was right on the other side of that rift. This dude like this, and this guy like this, throwing me off. In our world, the rift the demons came through was nearby. I did not. I did not play. I did not play the second one. I played one though. You should definitely play one. If you haven't. Two is controversial, from what I can gather, as far as if people think it was good or not. I guess it's just in your taste, you know? But I've heard it, some people think it's, um, they like, were rushed, I guess, to finish the, the game, so the story kind of suffered a bit. Or just like, all around, the polish wasn't quite there in that one. It beats waiting around for demons to find us, right? There. Let's go.
Imagine it. To walk All right. And survive. Oh, I think this is a good time as ever to <laughs> end the stream. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Um, I'll be back. You can get this right. I need to write this shit down. What is my schedule? What the fuck is my schedule? Channel. Okay, I will be back Wednesday at uh, 2 a.m. I stream Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 2 a.m. So if you guys enjoyed today's stream, I'd love to have you back. Then, hope you all have a good week. I'm going to find somebody to raid here. I will read your messages in a second. I messed up all my tabs just now. Okay. Following live. So I have two people, and one person is playing Dra Dra Dark Souls. I don't think I've raided this person myself. I got it guided a raid to his channel. He's a really cool guy. Pretty similar to me, I'd say. Yeah. His name's Increditus Holt. If you can get too cheap, it's worth checking out. Yeah, probably. I need to play it myself. You can't play them on PS5? That sucks. Yes, have a great weekend, everyone. Since start the raid up here. Yeah, go over and give this guy all the best. He's playing Dark Souls, so he probably needs some, some you know, he needs some hype. All right, I'll catch y'all later. Have a great night. Thank you for coming.